Hello and welcome to Blood and Song. It's lovely to see you all again. Uh, it's been a little while. How's everyone doing? Yeah, doing good, great. Thanks. Good, good to be back at the table. Good. Nice to have everyone back. For those that it is their first time, see that's how long it's been. I've forgotten. I'm Johnny. I will be your host and DM for the evening, uh, and generally again uh, tonight. I'm joined by Brad. <laughs> Hi there. Sean. Hello. Christine. Oh. Dan. Yes. Hello. And Ryan. All right. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing? Good. Good. I've yeah. been told this is a MAGA hat, but I just wanted to make it very clear, or it appears like one. I wanted to make it very clear to everyone that it's not, a it's Henry Hoover hat. Not, not well, a sponsor. It's a non specific is that, is that Henry brand of Hem, Hoover. Henry Fair president, is it? Henry for president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's make that Sucking up, great sucking up again. the opposition. You know? <laughs> oh, that's it. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That is good. good stuff. Uh, talking of good stuff, Dan. How have you been? You've been having a very uh, specific time. Well, recently. yeah, very specific, wet, rainy time. Um, no, it's been good. I've been opening a show, a real-life theatre show um, in Newbury at the Watermill Theatre. Very, very nice place. And, um, yeah, I've been being an animal and a random Indian man, which sounds pretty much like this show, <laughs> basically. That was your university uh, year, so, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's exactly right. Down the animal and the random Indian man. <laughs> well, so any of our Ta Taj can confirm. Thousands of thousands of listeners, uh, watchers are watching, and any of you happen to be near Newbury, come see the show. I will hand you a D twenty if you turn up. Nice. That's, it's a small world. I've got D twenties around. Do you know, <laughs> true fact, Dan, I'm not actually allowed back to Newbury. Shall we know what he's you did? too old? What did you do in Newbury? He's too well, cool. Unbelievably. No, well, no, I was very young when these events happened. I am allowed, I should stress legally, I'm allowed to get back there and be extreme. <laughs> oh, okay. Extreme. Uh, do you remember the eponymous road bypass protests of Newbury? I do. Uh, and Swampy yes. tied himself to a tree. Uh, tree. Not Happy only Swampy, tree. but young child Johnny and did you? parents tied himself I was to up tree. those trees. Yeah, I was we part of um, We were up at Newbury, yeah. No way! Not specifically that tree, there were many trees. I will stress I was young enough that I have no memory of who those I people were. I think that's were. probably best. Yes. It? Is everybody <laughs> below below 30 just going, what? Yep. What's yep. going on? I'm so. only marginally yep. above 30 and I don't know what's going on. And I, I should that's know really. That's nothing new. Oh, <laughs> did I tell you guys about me absolutely dying in front of some younger teachers recently? No. Just no, talking of please, age. This is great. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, so it was the end of term. We all went out for end of term drinks. Specifically, it was a week or two before because it was the end of the trainee teachers year, first year where they come in and then they leave and it's brilliant. And a few of us older teachers were there having a drink as well. We were all talking about crazy, cool, random times you got into when you were younger. And for those of us that it was a million years ago, I happened to say, oh, well, once through my university, I got given the chance to go see um, a gig for free. And unbelievably, a story that Sean will know well, because I consistently go on about it, uh, I ended up out clubbing with Jarvis Cocker. <laughs> right? Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, because that's a cool story. Yeah. <laughs> I was met with crickets and yeah. who? They don't know who he is. Oh no! What's the, what's the next step? And I think... Oh, Radiohead. That's old people music. Yeah, <laughs> not quite. But it was then the head of history looking at me and us going, "Right, we're old. Should we go back to the old people's table?" <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Jarvis Cocker would be absolutely incensed to know no one knows who he is right now. That's like. <laughs> He wants to live like common people. Do you know who I am? Oh, that was good, Chris. Very good. That was very good. good. <laughs> very, very good. Very You're good. Welcome. Talking of good causes, I don't know. I also want to say, um, obviously, mm. I've not been here for a yeah. few weeks. It's been lovely to see you guys holding the fort and doing great stuff in the absence. And um, before that, I was uh, thank you to everyone who turned up to see me and and Bradley's guest appearance mm -hmm. on um, Adventure in Paradise's channel. Uh, where we were part of Jasper's game day. Really delighted to announce we raised over six thousand dollars over nice. six months, which was yeah. the target awesome. was like one thousand, wasn't it? Originally, yes. So smashed it, and I was particularly delighted to completely, completely derail a game 
uh, when I was playing like Star Wars games. That doesn't sound like <laughs> you at all, Johnny. In fact, do you know what? One of the reasons I've never DM'd on this uh, stream is because every story you say is, oh, the other day when I was in a game and I completely derailed the game. Like, I'm I don't just gonna have mean to, to. I'm just playing. <laughs> well, and you just, just do it. I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. Yeah. Right, that's why I like being DM because you get to do it all to me. And it's, I'm sure Stefan, if he's watching tonight, will be going, get him. You mother get him. <laughs> and literally at half time he went, right, well, I have no idea what I'm doing now. I need to throw out all my notes. We're, we're winging it from here on in. I was like, I'm so sorry. Just Sexy goblins. Always Sexy goblins. Well, it was Star Wars as well. So, you know. Hey, uh, I've also oh, I just, just, w- just want to throw in quick, right? Um, uh, Becky as well, um, you know, uh, uh, a seed who played seed on and in, in, you know in the earlier parts of the season many of you will know well um she contributed to the stream and and in order to because there was some which i'd never seen before which is awesome where you could sort of influence the game slightly i thought that was awesome um and so just a personal thank you to her because i know that, that that she donated some specifically to aid bradley and the team so that was that was really that was really well thank you guys bradley actually was rolling really well that night but the team in general did need it yeah and <laughs> uh, well and then i died on the, the pivotal oh. moment so. spoiler spoiler and then i spoiler. died <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, great. Well, I thought I'd go up and see a face in the roof, and it turned me to stone, and I fell in the lava. It's good stuff. <laughs> Luckily, tonight we take the high ground. Oh. I, uh, I just wanted to thank uh, everyone with the couple of weeks ago when we played without me. Uh, how excellently you all embodied Ripper! <laughs> I thought oh, it yeah, was um... really Christine's Ripper was probably the best of them. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. It, it was it was really good. I was literally I was laying on the front of the boat giggling away, and people were like, "What are you laughing at?" And I was like, "Ah, oh, just uh, my stream is doing uh, all doing impersonations of me, and it's really fun." So was yeah, that a so, canal boat in fun. North London, Ryan? Uh, no, it was a sailboat in around Greece. So uh, you know, was it the fishing tower there that you said mm. you were going to go on? Was it a fishing? Yeah, trawler? I need to make I need to make the extra money so we can right, I think spend all my time that hat the can't be casting aspersions at fishing yeah. trawlers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Bring back coal or whatever he was talking about. The mines, oil, <laughs> big oil. I don't know. That's my interpretation. Basically, wherever he's good. got shares in, so yeah. if you've got shares in something, shout about that. Vacuum <laughs> cleaners, down with <laughs> Dyson. Yeah. Um, talking of down with Dyson. No, that wasn't. No, 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 no. no talking about talking about on, down right. with Dyson. Talking about vacuum. If you want to tell the us, vacuum of space. I sure no. just completely overwritten my. Thing I'm sorry, but vacuum sun. and vacuum of space. I, I yeah, don't normally go good. for a link. I don't know. What was yours, right? Let's like. Let's I said, in the comments if you're down with Dice Sun, then you should come and hit us up on our on our oh, socials. That was good. Oh god, we can yeah, do both good. of them though, can't we? Yeah, carry on. Tell us about. Tell us about <laughs> all of the uh, all the cool hats you got. Do you have a D and D hat? That's what we want to know. Take a photo of you wearing your fancy D and D hat and send it to us. Uh, Blood Song Party on Twitter or Blood and Song on Facebook and Instagram. Well, I'll do it like we haven't just sort of okay, had that okay, conversation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so like my hat, for example, you know, a vacuum cleaner company. So talking of uh, vacuums, uh, the vacuum of space. <laughs> no? No. no. It's worse than mine. It's just, yeah, it was, it was a bit... That's why I don't do them. That's why so I don't do them. Turning into yeah. some sort of Carl Sagan sort of style <laughs> explanation on the end of it. But but either way, so, so we did, so a couple of weeks ago, we did a good... Um, Bradley and I did a little uh, Blood and Pixels little stream and, and um, we're really appreciative to it. We got to know Jim Bob a, a lot better and we mentioned it at the start of the last stream as well. Um, that was really fun uh, where we, we did a sort of video game playthrough, a uh, live playthrough. But last week um, I was able to um, do a Lasers and Feelings episode. So that's really exciting. And we did one part of two thinking that we never actually do part two, but we've got a surprise for everyone. Surprise! Um, Surprise! We're doing another one this week. No, no, that's an airing well this week. Um, next Monday we'll do the, the the second final part in the Lasers and Feelings series. We need a title for it as well, by the way, because I was just calling it Lasers and Feelings Episode Two, but it needs to have like a Star Trekian title, doesn't it? The Hive Armada and you know all this sort of stuff. Possibly, uh, you could do uh, Lasers and Feelings. Feelings colon where accents go to die. What, what, was, the cap- <laughs> yes. what, what was the captain's name again? Captain Sorry. Darcy. Okay, Darcy. Captain Captain Darcy and the Time Bandits. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be Captain Darcy's Revenge. So we've got a surprise. So Dan Bride as well. Bride and Prejudice. Be... Oh, yeah, that's, that's what it's got to be. It's nice. got to be with Darcy, hasn't it? Because Darcy's oh, in there. Oh, that like, is good. That's pretty Darcy. good. That is that is good. Really uh, so yeah, so we're looking forward to that next week. So we'll be doing the final part of the Lasers and Feelings next week while um, Johnny is off 
Skiing. Sorry. I'm just making something Skiing. up. Skiing. Absolutely. Are you doing? I, I'm not going Don't to. Know. It is a dear friend's wedding, uh, postponed by, obviously by COVID. It's now back on. So I will be. Um, I nearly said officiating because I was thinking of Brian. But <laughs> no, I'm just going to be attending and drinking heavily. Yeah. That's what we but do. That sounds lovely. Yeah, it's really nice that it's, it's, yeah, it's starting to all come back and everyone's starting to get married and finally do all the stuff they weren't allowed to do for the last few years. So that's awesome. So hopefully we can entertain you guys at home with, a, with, the, with the final part. And Dan's accent, Dan will be in it this, this time. Um, and I wonder what accent he's going to pull out. He's the actor, by the way, remember? The professional actor. So, so. That's, that's why my accent has to be the worst. <laughs> See, we could make it really interesting. I could do a bad accent, because mine are notoriously bad. And then Dan has to do an accent of my accent. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, I might good. do is an amalgamation of all the accents used in my current show. Oh, yeah. And that is a lot of accents. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> and How speaking of current play? show... Brad, yeah. Take. Uh-huh. No, wait, hey, hey. no, you're not allowed. <laughs> Whoa, to do we've wrong talked about this. Well, though, you we've talked this. about this, Ryan. <laughs> you, you can't do that. Brad, wrong <laughs> take. We're gonna teach this guy for a lesson. <laughs> Okay, apologies folks, if we have any technical issues going on at the other end, apparently the internet is deciding to be temperamental. Recording in progress. Um, but we shall push through. Previously on Blood and Song, our party have been heading north ever since the uh, fallout of ending the plague and the steady evasion of Gaius, Octavius's brother, who is hunting them in the Darkwood Expanse. They've been heading to try and get to Nürmengart to try and find um, the next step in their journey to track down Phaser's mentor, find out the truth about what the plague actually means, and to find some other information that has not quite come to light yet. On their journey, they met a perfectly helpful pair of centaurs who were absolutely going to help them uh, along the way, they, whilst escorting these centaurs, they fought valiantly some kobolds that attacked them, and a rather strange winged monster. Slaying the monster, they returned back uh, when they ran into a legion patrol. Now, they did the sensible thing and instantly panicked and started causing shenanigans. Yes, and totally uh, logical. Yeah. And basically got captured pretty soon. They decided to surrender rather than uh, being wiped out. And then, thanks to some uh, rather clutch persuasions from um, Octavius and the other characters, they managed to convince the commander to let them leave in the dead of night as the other legionnaires who had been sent to actually escort them back to Gaius came to catch them. They fled with their centaur companions through the woods, But Six, being a little bit unsure as to their uh, origins or as to their intentions, encouraged them to leave, uh, leaving the party stranded and alone, heading towards the town of Wildshaw on the northwest coast. They had to push nearly all through the night, taking only a short rest and risking exhaustion. As they did... Octavius wild shaped up and saw that the legion had split into two. The patrol sent to catch them. Half were combing the woods. The other half were combing the, or were headed back to Wildshore along the town. And essentially we opened there. 
with the two of you or the party and the legionnaires in a chase to who to get to wild shore first you are roughly a thousand feet away across what is essentially now open fields and what you see in front of you as you're looking is the central road that the legion are marching along heads down and as you're looking down the hill you can see that this road branches off into three the town itself is drastically different from every other location and settlement you have seen in Chanella. Um, Octavius, it's the first time you've been there, so for you it's a little bit of a shock. You've heard about it, but you've not seen it. What you see is a wooden palisade. Everything else you've seen has been marble or stone. Um, this is wooden. The three, uh, the wooden palisade itself stretches out in a huge semicircle roughly two three thousand feet across and they it seems to just stop at a sheer cliff edge there are three gates that you can see um each about a thousand or about 700 feet apart um and they are part of the main road which even now is not really paved it is still the kind of rough stone and gravel road that looks like it's starting to be developed but at this point you're in the woods or at the, the edge of the woods looking down over open fields with a legion marching against you we are in a timed event i'm going to warn you now which means essentially you all have five turns we're going to roll this that each turn, it doesn't matter what order you go in, you're all going to do one thing to contribute towards the group moving quicker or attempting to slow down the Legion, who are currently about five, six hundred feet away from you and haven't seen you. You know your mission is to get into Wildshore unseen if you can. So who's going to go first with the first action? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry. You know, like when you have one of those like out of body experiences where you feel like someone else is controlling you or something like that. What? Right, uh, so, um, yeah, I guess we've got to get away from all these these people, right? And we, I've got an idea actually, and I, I don't want to go first. I've got an idea. Okay, you um, go first then. I want to cast with my last spell slot. Are there? I'm assuming there's birds around. Sure. I cast speak with animals. <laughs> you know the okay. rules. I do. Um, Go on. <clears throat> well, you, you're the one who has to decide the accent, so. I'm no, you to... get to say the first thing, okay. and then you have to respond. <laughs> yeah. I need help from some of you. God, what kind of help you want me, Gal? <laughs> well, I need someone. To go over there and teach those soldiers who's boss. I'm not sure what you mean, like... What do you mean, boss? Like, they've got food that you want. Aye. Yeah, and the only way to get it is to harass them. Make a persuasion check. Right. <laughs> Can I help? Um, oh, hey, do you have the speak with animals spell? No, I don't. Also, I probably don't understand what's going on. It's a ten? Oh, no, okay. sorry. That's not a ten. That's a nine. A nine. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So, the birds move off. What will happen? We'll find out. Who's so where, next? Where did you say the, the legion was? How far away from us? So, if you think about it, right, you're essentially in a head-to-head -head race to see who can get to the gates. Yeah. If they get there before you, they can warn the guard there and they can fortify to watch for you. If you get there first, you might get to sneak in. They are I'll... down the hill, roughly six, seven hundred... Um... Oh, six, seven hundred feet. I thought you said 60 feet. I was like, no, 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 no. If they were that close, they'd see you. At this mm. point, this is like a stealth chase. All right. I, well, I want to... I, I, I have this idea and if you'll let me do it, here's what I'd like to do. When we eventually get moving, I want to basically intimidate the group 
like a drill sergeant to make them move faster, right? Like, uh, you know, like, I go, I go get us, right? I go chop, like, face you, know what they'll do to you, right? They'll throw you in prison. You know what they do? You know what they do girls like you in prison, right? And like, you know, like, and, you know, gnomes like, like sort you. Of... What they do to gnomes like you. Yeah, what do gnomes like you know? in prison? And so, like, you know, like, I want to intimidate the group to, to, to spur them on, like the equivalent of kicking a horse. It would be very easy to intimidate Phaser. Yeah. <laughs> it will be very easy to intimidate Phaser. Yeah, I do. I do. Look, uh, I'm actually going to say... Like Johnny's face, what's he going to do? What's he saying? Well, the thing is, as much as I'm an evil DM, <laughs> trademarked, it's, I don't like to take agency of choice away from players. Hmm. Uh, so I will say, you doing this, whether you're choosing to do it, inspir- um, you can choose to do it, persuasion to cajole your friends or to oh i could do them. it i could do it as persuasion yeah I mean, it's that's, up to you that makes your more choice. sense but I, I will say i'm going to tell you now dc is 15 yeah if you beat it two people of your choice can have advantage on whatever they try and do next because okay. I, I wouldn't say it would necessarily increase their speed but i would think that it will help them yeah okay See that. is I'll, that fair I, I, i'm fine with that i will i will yeah. then i will persuasively like a like a persuasive drill sergeant will uh you know persuade them to think better about their actions and get you know what i think about a gnome like you you're brilliant come on we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> um all right let's go <laughs> beat a 15. no i got a 13. Oh. Oh. damn okay so unfortunate but i think so i i assume like i try and do it to six and uh octavius because they've literally had drill sergeants they're just completely like <laughs> it's almost like lax not there you go to kind of talk to him and he's just disappeared oh that happens quite often <laughs> um did we yeah. catch up with lax just to remind me okay i'm back um i've just Hello. been scouting um, did I miss something? <laughs> yeah, it sounded like someone a, was shouting gave, at people. I gave I a speech. Yeah, mm. I gave a speech. Um, but I think I think Octavius and Six have already heard it. Yeah, so, Octavius you know. is making bird sounds at this moment. So. <laughs> okay, so like you are currently in essentially a skill challenge chase. You each have a turn. There are five mm. rounds. Mm. The Legion are marching perpendicular to you. If they get there first, they can secure the town and raise the alarm. If you get there first, you might be able to sneak in before you know they're there. Are they marching on the road? They are. They are currently about five to six hundred yards away from you. So they are okay. away. Obviously, you've done your best to get there stealthily. Mm-hmm. But at this point, we've had two attempts to aid the party. So there is yourself, <laughs> Six Smith, and Phaser. If anyone would like to do anything on this first round. Um, do you think, and this is me going, is this a thing I can do? Um, because I've got magical tinkering, yeah. so I can imbue a small non-magical object with a magical property of my choice. Yeah, which includes a static visual effect, including up to twenty-five words of text. So I don't know what the static visual effect would cover. But, um, what I'd love to do though is to pick uh, an image of the largest member of the party. And the 25 words of text being something along the lines that I might get Ripper to do really quickly, going, come on, you buggers, we're over here, you know, um, and then hold it in my hand. And then when we get a bit closer, I'm going to want to try and okay. play it as a distraction. Ah. I love the energy of that. <laughs> Is it too much? Is Here's where I'm bumping up against it. Small? Two things. Yeah. Just that 600 yards away from you. Yeah, so I want to hold on to I it. have an idea. Okay. Why Second don't you thing enchant being... a crossbow bolt? I can't enchant. Can I? They're well, just normal. They're just normal. Oh, I can. Oh, what I'm going to say, because we are stretching this? the realms, because obviously magical yeah. tinkering takes an hour to imbue these effects. It doesn't say that. Some of the yeah. things will take. Yeah, have a look. Uh, I said what we could do is we can try and do a tinkering check at disadvantage, because you essentially you are running towards the gates at the moment. And I, could, I, I assumed I would jump on to, tink, uh, to Toots and Toots would do the running. Okay. And then got... Toots is running, which I, I was still doing dexterous work whilst kind of bouncing around. It's difficult. You can do it. We can have two choices. You can either have a higher DC and roll straight or have the 15 DC but roll at disadvantage. 
Hmm. I like the idea of him viewing the. It like, it's a the really good idea. Crossbow boat. Well, cross, I, crossbow bolt. Sorry. I would say in this situation, sure. I think it's cool. Let's do it. Cool. So I'm going to imbue it in this turn, and then as we get a bit closer, um, so that it's a bit more in range because the crossbow's got maximum 320 long range. So yeah. um, I will hold on to it until we get to about that. But but my action for this is to imbue that crossbow belt. So would you rather do disadvantage with a 15 DC, or would you rather have a straight roll but with a higher DC? I don't know. Uh, I'll go for disadvantage. I'll do it that okay. way, I guess. But is your magical tinkering so you have a crazy yeah, plus crazy to it? Pluses, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Is it a little bit like the barbarian's rage dilemma? Like, do you get better? It's like, you know, because for one of I, I was reading up on this the other day. It's like you have better attack or better hit, right? It's like something like that. It's like a sort of the trade. I mean, it's toss up, isn't it? Much, much of a muchness, really. So the magical tinkering, it's just, uh, as far as I can see, it's just a use to do it you know what i mean okay so it doesn't really have a that's what i said absolutely fine let's go for it just because it's it's cool if nothing else okay um i just don't know what yeah okay i'll just i don't know what bonuses to add to it that's all. so this would be your tinker tinkering a tinkering check so essentially it oh, will be your so intelligence be... plus your proficiency bonus okay okay this isn't so bad right double proficiency 16 if... on that one no yes yes it is Come on, 29 with the next one. So. Okay, so even though Toots is bouncing around on the rough ground as you are running forwards, you manage to kind of push yourself into her plates using it like a strip and steadying it and doing the thing that miniature painters do where they hold their two wrists together <laughs> for dexterity. Um, you do this and as you're holding the crossbow bow, manage to kind of just fiddle with it and add an enchantment to it that you can absolutely fire off next round. That leaves two yeah, actions then, left to do. Um, Toots is, is, is just, her action is just to run. Yeah. She'll be part of you for this as the chase. Cool, cool. Um, so I, I think I'd like to see if... I'd, I'd, I think Six wants to assess the ground ahead of them and just see if there's a faster path. If they can maybe just hop, hop, you know, when you're sort of doing a walk around a field and you're Good like, or, or around a path. I would say survival like, oh, or nature, your choice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for nature, and that's a 16. 16 for that. Okay, black. I um, I'm going to use survival to cut a path, to try and find the best path since I'm scouting ahead. So that's if mm, if that's as that's just what six declared. Oh, has he just do. done that? Okay. Yeah, well, sorry. I will look out then. I'll use my perception to see if I can uh, see what the others are doing. Basically, I kind of want to set up an ambush for them to like slow them down, like some falling rocks or a, a log that might be able to be. Absolutely. Make around. a perception check. Let's see what you can find. Fifteen. Ooh. So, here's what happens in that first round. As you're all bolting towards these gates, starting to leave the woods and heading over the open rolling fields, Octavius starts shouting at some birds. <laughs> and they're squawking at each other, and then the birds fly off. We then have Ripper attempting to motivate people. It... You, you all feel the urgency of the event and you don't feel a particular um, burst of anything from that, but you feel at least supported that he's got your back. At this point, you all see Phaser reach into pocket number six billion and pick something out and start actually just working on something that at the moment none of you can see. Whilst uh, Sixsmith seeing the field he notices that part of it is dipping down a little bit too steeply and you might slip and that the other part has got a shallower gradient and actually has some fallen logs that could be used as kind of footholds almost like stairs so you all he swings you round and you all start following that lack as you get to the stairs you know you can catch people you turn and you look and you see maybe a turn away from you i'm going to use turns rather than distance at this point because distances are in the mind you see that there is in fact a pile of lumber that has been built up and stacked 
that if you were to run over to it and attempt to knock it down, it could slow the Legion down. Mm. So, during this time, the Legion move. And you just see them pick their shields up and march. They don't know you're there, but they are marching with purpose. We're down to round two of this check now. Can I tell a story that will motivate people to run faster? Absolutely. This would be a performance check. Lovely. So the story is, right back home, there was this guy who basically, like, the the um, the town thought he was, like, best runner in the world. And he said, like, yeah, I bet you I can run up that hill and back before you can boil a pail of water. And, uh, and so... He thought, you know, the town put a couple of bets down. You know, they put the pail on the fire. Uh, he started running up the hill, got all the way to the top, all the way back down again. It's fast before the even pail of water was done. And everyone was patting him on the back. And then he died because everyone uh, patted all the air out of his lungs. So um, basically... It's inspiring as you think it is. Um... Well, hold on a minute. But what I'm saying is, yeah. right, basically, like, <laughs> cons <laughs> like, conserve your energy. Like, don't be the guy that ran up the hill. Yeah. Right. And we can we can make it there. On a side note, that was literally a story I got told when I was younger uh, about a guy wow. who could beat beat a kettle, uh, apparently a kettle boiling, and then and then died. Obviously, it's one of those stories that I'd never fact checked when I was younger, and I'm only now realising it's fucking that's ridiculous. So <laughs> yeah, it's definitely bollocks. So um, yeah, that's that's the. No no, no 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 no! My auntie wants new the, the guy's uncle to yeah, yeah. her sister, <laughs> and that was only three towns over. Yeah. Um, sure. Okay, make a performance check for me. 17. Okay. Who's next this turn? Uh, um, I'm just going to say... I'm going to have told people about those logs, by the way. I I'm just going to say, logs. fly, Lack. And I'm going to use Gust to push him forward, which gives him at least a five feet boost. But I don't know. It's, it's out well, of combat, so... Distance is wibbly wobbly at this stage because why not? It's more fun. <laughs> so uh, why don't you roll a Arcana check? Arcana, See, but my magic mm, comes from nature. It <laughs> certainly does. <laughs> right. Okay. One day I'll be That's fair. <laughs> I've stopped now. I just tell wins. Johnny what I want to do, and he tells nature. me what to roll. I don't try and feed it into my stats anymore. <laughs> that is a six. Oh. Brad's back. I got, <laughs> yeah. my, I got minus one to Arcana. It's I know, my... but you were rolling so well on Paradise's yeah, channel. Yeah, but that's Paradise's channel. That's not this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're saying we collectively give you bad luck, Brad. Is that what it is? No, I only get bad luck when it matters. Oh. <laughs> Harsh. But we're not Harsh superstitious at all. It's fine. Uh, so, mm. you release your spell. Um, Lack, you're so fast, you don't really feel anything. Thank you. Yeah, you get, in fact, you do get your it five cool. feet boost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks cool. cool. It gets that sort of Bollywood wind flapping in the robes. Yeah, which is important. Um, how far away is the uh, the 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 troops or the, the band of troops now? Okay, so we said if all goes well, it's going to take five rounds for you to reach the gates. There, it will also take them five rounds if all remains perfectly equal in your attempts. So far, you are neck and neck. You, you're Think of it like two places that are closing. I will say mm. for the sake of brevity, you feel like you could probably release your bolt next turn, and yeah. that would be enough to maybe hit them. Perfect. Okay. So, in the meantime... You yeah. have another action you or Toots could do. So you don't have to go now, you can have a little think while someone else is going. If anyone knows what they would like to do in the interim. Mm. So you can repeat the similar kind of actions if you want to still keep looking for quicker grounds or you want to look for more ways think, to slow them down. Do you think I'd be able to um, imbue a second crossbow? Because I did that on one action. But this one, this time with um, maybe like a shape that's like the dragon shape that we saw, the shadow. So they've got an extra distraction. I'm um, going to say yes, but the way we're going to rule it is when you do your shot next turn, mm -hmm. that's going to give you advantage on the shot. So, because I get um, extra attack 
Yeah. And the time when I fire, I'm actually just, it's just a crossbow bolt that's going. Yeah, because we're not ruling this like actual combat, we're doing no, it like a skill but... check. So we'll say that it's like, yeah, both shots are the thing, and that will give you the advantage on the attempt to distract. Okay, Definitely. Cool. cool. Right, so make got, uh, got... a roll to see how effective this second bolt is. Do I have to do this at disadvantage again, like last time? Yes, please. Okay, that's 24. 14, so... 14. We're rolling close to the line, right? 14, 15s, it's... it's, yeah. Mm. Sixes. (laughs) (laughs) That's the outlier, we just, we just, you know... (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you don't need to die on the subset. It's probably not as effective as the last one, but it's still magical, it still counts. Okay, I'm still going to say you can have advantage on that next shot. Okay. Who's going to go next? We've got two down. I know what I know what I'd like to do. I don't cool. know if it can coincide with whatever um, Lack's doing. Yeah. But I'm just going to say what I'd like to do, and you can tell me if it's plausible, and then what I need to do for it. I want to um, find the the now that I know where the nasty sort of slippery mud is. I want to throw my, the butcher's shield down, and I want to ride the butcher's shield to you know like. Uh, like an elf like, from Lord of the Rings. Like Breath and of the Wild. Down the staircase. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, exactly. I want to ride the shield as fast as I can to just sort of try and gain a bit more of a foothold on the, you know, maybe just get ahead of them if I can. Sure, I'm going to call this an acrobatics check. Okay. Oh, it's a 13. It's so in that middle ground. Oh, no, man. 13. Okay. 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 So we are looking for two more. Or three I'm going more. to. Oh, are you going to? You go. Right. No, 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 no. Just, uh, just oh. you. Uh, All right. Down. So I'm going to run with that little gust of wind that just maybe cooled me down a little bit at those logs. And as I jump through the air, I'll sprout my astral arms and try and throw them down the down the um, hill. Absolutely fine. Uh, you can make a strength athletics check, of yes. course, with your arms. You can yeah. use your wisdom. My wisdom, yay! Nice. Roll high, you bastard! Fourteen. It's right. Uh, everything's right down the, the middle. Fear window. <laughs> the fear window. Oh, man. Okay. Christine's rolled some bangers, but it's because she's been using her tinkering, isn't it? Could I spend a key point to up that? How are you spending a key point to up it? So I have this thing called focused aim. Yeah. If I miss with an attack roll, I can spend one to three key points to increase that attack roll by two for each key point that I spend. Could I spend a key point to increase my yes. athletics roll? Of course you can. Dumb. If you still have key points after the I do. chase. Because remember, you only had a short rest. That's right. I, yeah. But a short rest gives me all my key points back. Uh, so um, that's 60 instead. 16. Marvellous. Okay. Just... So, this is what happens this term. As you run, carry on running, Six throws his shield out and goes to do the Legolas down the hill. And he does it, but there's loads of stones just underneath the mud, and it's that thing where it kind of awkwardly slows down. <laughs> you know, like skateboard on really uneven ground. Yeah. And like, this is going to look really cool! <laughs> and you have to kind of pick it up and start running. It, it, it loses you a little a little bit of time. Ripper's story kind of gets everyone going again to make sure that they catch up. Around this time, Octavius is attempting to push Lap forward. Uh, Lap takes off after the logs as we again see Phaser duck over and start tinkering. Lap grabs the logs and goes to push with his spectral arms and for a second there's nothing and if anyone were watching they could almost see a nimbus of just something explode within him as he reaches deep and throws them and suddenly they <laughs> hurl down the path which is lucky for you because with that looking over you see that whilst you lost ground that turn because the logs go down it keeps the legion as they have to slow and divert, they stop to look up. Stealth. Uh, yeah, make a stealth check for me, please. Black, you are the only one who's currently kind of close enough. Ooh, 16. 
Yeah, that does it. Uh, as they don't seem to have seen you. So we enter round three, still neck and neck. At this point, Phaser, you've been holding your shots. They go off. So could you make just an attack roll with advantage, please? So they cross play. Yep. Yes. I haven't rolled above a 10 yet today. With <laughs> <laughs> uh, advantage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh. That was, uh, well, that was 27. So I don't think I'm going to beat that. No, that was 24. So winner, winner, chicken Ooh. dinner. 27. <laughs> okay. So as you fire out, you will see Phaser just turn and send off these two bolts. For a moment, you think, what the hell are you doing? But then you see, well, Phaser, can you describe the effects of these bolts as they shoot yeah. out, please? So the idea is that the, the first arrow go will be the one that's shaped like the dragon shape that we saw before. Um, but kind of, uh, yeah, it will go off. And it, because these can emit a sound as well. So I'd love it to do some kind of like animated roar as it does to distract them. Um, the other the other arrow will go and hit uh, on the ground instead of in the sky. And that will um, be Ripper, but slightly enlarged. Um, and, <laughs> I'm, <sorry. laughs> I'm big enough already. You're big enough already. <laughs> but I'd love it to um, to be sort of shouting a challenge uh, to the to the troops. Um, but they sort of seem like the, <laughs> the dragon, and the, I think the dragon and, and the fake ripper sort of seem like part of the same picture. If you know what I right. mean? Right. Okay. They're in that same area. Um, so with that attack roll, absolutely, that's what happens. Anyone else? What are you? What's everyone else doing for this turn? So, like in uh, like in a marathon or the Olympics that just recently happened, um, when they're doing the athletics um, portion, they have a pace setter, don't they, for like time. So I think I'd like to sort of get into the group and sort of try and set the pace for us to make sure that we're getting at a decent um, nice. nice speed, keep it up to decent speed. Okay. Just you like... can use athletics or persuasion. Uh, I used persuasion last. No, I used performance last time, didn't it's I? No problem to reuse the same skills. Oh, I okay, fair I'm not gonna be that persnickety about not it. Like, it's the same DC like, on everything. Not like Dan used to be. No. <laughs> not this oh. time, I will say. <laughs> um, well, I guess I'll use perf- I'll use persuasion then, I guess, is it slightly okay. better. And that is a natural 20! Yes, you nice. absolute legend. Yep. So, 27 in total, Johnny. Okay. Thank you very much. As that's exactly <laughs> what <laughs> Ripper does. Bursting, not bursting out in front, just being the person there, kind of geeing people up, checking they're all doing okay, keeping an eye on the Pace group. Car. Uh, Pace car. Who's next? I didn't want to do this. <sighs> Someone grab hold, and I turn into a warhorse. <laughs> <laughs> and I can I in my turn then grab hold immediately and swing up. You know, like I'm no, still no, no, in no, Legolas no. mode. No, no, Sean, hold onto the tail and leave the butcher's shield on the ground. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is a good idea. Yes. I'm still yes, on the butcher shield, so I'm like, I chuck it back down yeah, and I'm I grab this hold. Is not yeah, happy yeah, with yeah, this yeah. arrangement, but it cannot Just speak. Rissy, you need to jump on the horse. I have got. A, I, yeah, I am. I, I, I would like to do that when the time is okay. right, Johnny. I sure. I'm going to say, um, John, you need to, or rather, six, you need to make a dex check. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Acrobatics again to try and okay. grab the thing and stay thing. Octavius, as you are using Wild Shape. Oh, yes. Mm, don't nice. you dare us say Arcana. <laughs> no, wild I was... Shape's nature, surely. <laughs> mm. No, 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 because you get three you, you get three Wild Shapes and they recharge from the shore rest. I'm not going to be that generous. No, you can... Uh, Two, I'm essentially... Yes. You can make a Wisdom or Nature. Uh, okay. Nature. No, Wisdom. Because nature is actually intelligence. Oh, intelligence! Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Remember, I said you can always add your, you can use your wisdom instead. Because I, I agree that that's. Oh, okay, not... sweet. So I'll just make, I'll make a survival check then, and we'll call it because yeah. it'll be the same. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, let's see, seventeen. Yay. Seventeen. And how was that acrobatics check, there, six? Nineteen. Finally, Nine. good roll. Teen. Mm. It's all coming off very smoothly. Lack. Yeah. What would you like to do? Well, I would like to make 
Um, I'd like to try and work out, now that I've blocked off their way of going, what, you know, what mm. I'm going to make, I want to, like, see into their brains and think about what route they would take and then think about the route that we would take that would speed us up past that. It's almost yeah. like you're trying to push me for an insight check. Oh, God, is it? Oh, I don't know what I was is going it? for. I, oh, that, I, why don't you do an insight check then? <laughs> and that is a natural 20 Woo! for a total of 20. Oh, baby. Man, we may turn this around yet. We needed right. this round. Okay. Well, with one, two three, four, five, six, seven successes this turn. Um, you, anyone who happens to be sticking their head out of the window, so to speak, <laughs> would notice that at this point you are gaining ground. At the moment it looks like you're going to get there just before them. There's still two rounds to go. What will happen next? As the Legion stop, some of them momentarily confused, the person in front, too, too hard to see who it is from here, kind of points out to the direction that you were because you've just moved and sends a few people to investigate before the rest of the body begin moving on. They're still picking their way over the logs that have tumbled down by them as well. At this point, you've all shifted. So we enter round four. If you get this round, they can't catch you. Can I, can I ask something? Um, Always. If I cast a spell to and then basically forfeit my role. Can mm. I use that to, like, you, the, like the intimidation that can give two people advantage on a roll? Which spell are you thinking? I'm well, thinking of casting Bless. Use my last spell slot to cast Bless. I know it's attack Is it your last spell saving. slot? Yeah, I know it's attack and saving throws. Um, I will say I will say they can add a d4 up to four people, so it's give everyone else a d4 on their rolls. It's not technically how it's supposed to be used. And then sacrifice but... mine, but that's only that's only a maximum potential of twelve, right? So as long as I whatever I roll is a maximum potential of this is pure min maxing by the way, but well, no is... no, right. I'm gonna let you have a success because you are you are using your last spell slot, oh. which is a finite resource <laughs> to do it. Yeah. So I'm gonna say this is essentially a fifteen roll. You don't need to roll. Okay. So you will have success and everyone else, because it's up to four people within range can have a d4 on their rolls. Okay, cool. Is that um, fair? Are you happy with it? I, I mean, I, yeah, That's you're the great. DM, so that sounds fine to me. Um, uh, yeah, I will, I will do that then. And yeah, with like the sort of the the light of LRL's glaive and it like flashes and like mm. as if we're guiding us forward, sort of like uh, without drawing any attention, like the way in Shadow of the Colossus where you'd hold it up and the light would tell you where the next Colossus is. Um, <laughs> Almost exactly like that. Good yeah. reference. Like Thank everyone you. else feels their resolves strengthen slightly <laughs> as they feel the magic settle upon them. What is everyone else doing? If you win this round, you've made it. Made so it. you'll get a plus four, was that Johnny, to your rolls? A D4. Plus D4, sorry. D4. A plus D4 to your roll. Yeah. So, Horse Tavius. Yes. <laughs> Horse Tavius. <laughs> Fan art, someone? <laughs> yeah, yeah. is going to basically use the horse's strength and athletics to get as far as possible in as little amount of time grand love it go for it whip for riding yeah i will refrain from whipping uh, as much as i want to <laughs> natural three for a seven <laughs> plus a d4 plus, Ooh, a, d4. plus a d4 maybe we can get above a 10 <laughs> We can. We can get an 11. <gasps> yeah. Nice. I do. Okay. Who's next? Um, I have nothing left. <laughs> I have nothing. You could do Excellent. other things though, Christine. Like, you've <laughs> no. got get creative, eyes. Christine. I'm this trying. is your time. So You're being magical... lenient tonight. I don't know what's so wrong the, with me. <laughs> the magical tinkering uh, needs to keep going. And uh, I've used all the slots for the magical tinkering. Because she still keeps she gave a sending stone to not a sending stone she gave a a, a, a gift to seed and mm. she doesn't she thinks that slot's still there so because she doesn't have enough on seed so oh, uh, I like that. So, I know. Yeah. oh it's very romantic but quite annoying now <laughs> I to do that. um but yeah so i've used the magical tinkering um the only thing i've got left is one spell slot in second well level. what would phaser do in this situation to try and just either slow down the opposition or help her party move quicker or help toots move quicker yeah. Um, so only... tell Johnny what you want to do, and he'll tell you what role to make. Yeah, basically. I just want to. I just, I just, I guess. Uh, what, what 
in terms of what's ahead of us with the gates and so on, yeah. we haven't chatted about this, about what we're going to do. You could look ahead. When we get there. So, yeah, I guess what's ahead of us. Um, you can make that. perception or investigation, I'm going to say, here. I'm going to go perception, because that is better. Actually, they're both... Oh, no, no, investigation. Let's do investigation. Um, ooh, 17. 17. That's got to be worth a crash zoom, isn't it? Crashes <laughs> into the gate as shaking, we're running. Shaking, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll find out at the end of the round what happens. Two more to go. I'd quite like to. Um, do, uh, what I'd like to do is like swing and like jump from the tree branches to get a height advantage. Oh, um, sorry. Just very quickly, did, can you, did you did you add a d4 to that roll as well? No, I didn't. I said I had a D4. It counts. Oh, All helps. Think. Oh. Sorry, sorry for cutting you off. Sorry, I added yeah. two, so it's 19. Carry on. Thank you. I want to, like, um, <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon it. Sure. Um, um, to get, like, a... To get, yeah, height advantage. Um, and, like, would you like acrobatics? Is that okay? I mean, I'll go with that. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> it's been <laughs> nice to you haven't been around for a couple of weeks. No, that's what it is. no I, can, I can just see the leading. It's fine. It's just, like, that's the point. You say what <laughs> you want to do. If I can right? lead it right, it's good, right? We need, we need, more, D, we need more D&D &D starvation in Johnny's life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also say that, that maybe um, I'm leading you into a false Ryan, sense of security. Plus a Ryan D4, had an plus actual... A oh, yeah, cool. Ryan had a conversation with me off stream, by the way, and he said, you know, you're not very good at deception. Sit is to stop trying to deceive people and i was like hey man he's just because he's not good at it, it doesn't mean he's not going to try yeah that's <laughs> right <laughs> so what did that d4 take it to sorry dan oh i haven't rolled a d4 oh my goodness let's try that as well roll that's 26 in total 26 thank you very much so that leaves six myth left i've got i mean i'd like to I don't know if there's some sort of symmetry with the brothers going on, but I've got like a rope and a, and a pitten and a hammer. It's like an adventuring gear, I guess, for mm. climbing. But I'd like to try and sort of whip it against a, a, a branch. And as I've got the momentum behind the horse and sort of oh, use man, it to, man. to swing myself, yeah, sort of <laughs> grapple hook like around, maybe just, I don't know, to get some height, to get some distance, whatever helps in the next round. You know? Okay, so I will say, in case, because obviously Lack had veered off to like push right, some okay. branches down. You guys were essentially on a plane going down a hill. So it's away from trees, if that helps. Okay. Um, but you could, using your boots of leaping, attempt to just leap over from the, the horse. horse. I love it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, maybe like, I can just maybe just get a lip, you know, a lip of yeah. mud as it springs. Just as the horse stumbles because yeah. of sure. the bad roll of the horse, he's like <laughs> yeah. pff, over the top, yeah, jumping so, off yeah. the horse's back. I've I'm got I'm dragging a guy on a shield and a guy, a huge muscly guy on my back. The horse is flagging. <laughs> yeah, but no, 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 you're a war horse. You're, right? war you're not horse. just yeah, a. You can have this. A, you know, you're not some, so, yeah. I was going to say Shire Horse, but they're did fucking huge. Did you not huge. see the show? No. Did you not see the show? They were this huge <laughs> puppet. Yeah, What's that made out of wood in the show? It was amazing. It was amazing. Right. Uh, so make me an athletic check. Yeah, trying to unmute to get the facts in it. No, no, no. I think they're wooden, aren't they? They're sort yeah, of wooden framework. Wooden, yeah. yeah. All right. It's 15 plus... plus D4. D4. 15 plus 1. 16. 16 nice. is my roll. Yeah. Okay. So can, can, depending on, uh, by the way, just quickly before you tell us, depending on whether that is how much of a success or not, can you make the sound of the jump? So like a cool jump. If it's a terrible jump, it has to be a terrible sounding. Noise. I think we can all guarantee it will be a terrible sound effect, regardless. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. But I will okay. attempt. Okay. Um, so here's what happens. Phaser, I'm going to begin with you. As you look up towards the gate, as you realise everyone else is just pelting at the moment, they're not really necessarily thinking ahead and it's very like you to think ahead having been used to arriving at new places in unusual situations you see there are three gates at this point you can see that the left and the right gates both have four legionnaires outside with the roll of a 19 what you will also find out is that you can see military pennants and the en uh, the emblem of the Lion Legion flying on both the left and the right gates. On the centre gate, you see a smaller gate. You can see one guard. And you can see what looks like trading 
caravans going through and people just walking through um, with a, a, a tiny glimpse of what appears to be some kind of market, maybe? Inside? The market inside? Possibly. That's all you're going to get on the 19. Okay. I'm just wondering okay. where the glimpse was, whether the glimpse so was... So that's was the central, the central arch. Okay. Look at, through, like, the through the arch, you can see okay. people going inside and you've probably, you know, your character's definitely got enough intelligence. Phaser would know that maybe that might be more likely to be a market. The other two are much more heavily guarded and have pen, uh, pennants flying. Based on what you've seen in other Chanelan towns in your time here, they could be the garrisons. Weird that they're not all in one place, but... Mm. Could you remind me what time of day it is? I would love to. Uh, it is very early morning <laughs> still, because okay, you guys so had marched traders, through the night. So traders might be... Yeah, it is that kind of... Uh, the sun is up, but it's really like 6, 7 a.m. Markets are probably, like the traders are already there, and these are... Remember, this is sort of more of an age of antiquity by our standards, so that life would already be moving once the sun's up. You, your day started essentially is the sun fully up or is it it's on its way fully? it's not okay, so it's, it's not cool. bright yet okay. it's sort of you know that sort of light where it's still low enough because obviously you're now in autumn nearly winter that it's it's that kind of low sun so it's quite cold morning as okay. it were um next up ripper as you are looking around releasing your magic you catch a sight of a form with spectral arms just swinging through the trees absolutely hidden tiger uh, just catching up all the way um, Octavius you feel yourself starting to flag as you hear and uh, behind you there uh -oh. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's not just doing it. As okay. what happens is you see six behoobily over the top, giant Ooh. leap. And as he's midair, reaches up and grabs the butcher's shield that he managed to kick flip up, uh -huh. flipping uh -huh. over. And then you're running with the distractions. You look and you see that the Legion. Oh, really? Man, I'm so hoping they catch you. Um, <laughs> with a natural one. <laughs> have fallen far <laughs> enough behind that now you have three rounds of success to their one. They they can't catch you. And I'm going to declare chase at an end. You essentially come Ooh. to the point where you're maybe 100 uh, yards, 100 feet away from the gates. At this point... It is up to you which one. I will say I'm going to set an unofficial timer that essentially you have maybe three minutes at most before they are on you and you've got to be in and dispersed before then. So you have got so a little bit of time the, to discuss. So the gate, yeah, the gate. Can you just tell me, Johnny, what the gate is? There guards at the central gate or is it just yeah, like there's people? There's one guard. There's one guard. So um, essentially where you are, if you look at Foundry, the map of Wildshore is ooh. now there. I have not been put on the on the thingy. Everyone is on the thing. I see a little. I see a little. R. Um, and what you have, you may need to refresh it as it's been a while. It may have timed out. Essentially, at the right hand side of the map, you can see that there is a road. You have essentially come to this crossroad with these two swinging arms, and right in front of you, you have a choice of going to the left hand gate, the right hand gate, or the central gate. I have at this not point. got a token with Yeah, vision. I haven't got a token either. Uh, token with vision. Right, one second folks. I'm sure this is thrilling for everybody at home. Um, okay. Okay, where did I put this map? Wait, I think I'm going to do it like this. One second. Oh, Lack had his arms out, so for those wondering what it looked like, it was like a six-armed ape swinging through the trees <laughs> every now and again running on a branch there we yeah. go i That's cool. should have given you all total vision now In. yeah fantastic thanks for telling me uh so you can see essentially there are three gates you have 
essentially come up from the bottom right and you've just got to where the crossroads is you know that the legion is coming down that main track from the east and will catch you in two two uh, to three minutes maximum to make your decision as well the, cart, like the carts um, johnny going through are they like sent they're small they're kind of like the smugglers carts that you were with that we're not talking huge laden ones that you've seen in the bigger cities yeah, yeah. this is a small town are there any um, single riders? Yeah, there are some. Um, I'm going to, um, because we've still got 300 yards to go. That that was right, wasn't it? 300 foot, sorry. Yeah, I mean, at this point, no, sorry, you're about 100 feet away oh, from the actual... Feet. Sorry, yeah. yeah, bear in mind. Um, I'm going to cast Prestigitate to clear off any sweat which might have built from running. Um, yeah. And then... Um, like the glisten. <laughs> no, no, but but, but I want sweat, to. The sweat, not the No, no, it's all right. Not the um, coconut oil. I wouldn't no dream I. of doing that to Ripper. Don't worry. But um, <laughs> I do want to. I want to. Um, at the same time, I'm going to dirty down Octavius as the warhorse, so he doesn't look quite so splendid. So it makes sense that he might look like a travelling horse or try and look like a travelling mm. horse. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get my cloak out and put that on. <laughs> yeah, and six might go. Um. Uh. Now is the time for us to uh, return to our disguises. And he thinks back on whether they were any good the first time they did it. Um, I think a traveling band is a, is a good thing to, uh, to, to pose as for now. And he tries to make himself, I don't know how, but he's going to try and make himself look a little bit more like, he's going to make himself look like an emo front man. You know, like... No um... oh, front man. Listen, I'll, let, me, let me talk to the guard, all right? <laughs> but the thing is, he's going to try anyway. Because like, well, maybe not front man, but like, like he's like the Mike Shinoda of the group, right? So he's not going to be like, he's not the Chester. What, the creative genius? <laughs> oh yeah, but, but quietly the creative genius. Some you know, big <laughs> call there, my Ooh. friend. He's not the Chester though. He's not the front man. Isn't right? calling yourself else. the Mike Shinoda a bit like calling yourself cool? It's yeah. Six is trying to cool. appear himself the Mike Shinoda. I'm not saying right. he's going to succeed, right? And and I'm fine with him failing as well. Um, but he, he just tries to make himself look a little bit like, I keep thinking of that guy from Scott Pilgrim, the first guy he fights. Like okay. he's going to emo Matthew himself Patel. up a bit. Yeah, he's going to emo himself up a bit hmm. and sort of try and make himself okay. look like a sort of... Well, yeah. at this point, I'm going to ask everyone to make a perception check as you have now slowed enough to actually take in details of the world around you. It. Oh. And then 11. 19. You know, well done, Phaser. 14. Hey. Busy enjoying myself in the trees. <laughs> so, Phaser, what you notice as everyone immediately starts discussing who's going to talk to the guards and where you should go, <laughs> you see that the guards are stopping and searching the carts on their way in and are holding up the parchments <coughs> and kind of pointing people out, looking under people's hoods and checking them as they are on their way in. Um, right, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab. There's only one guard at the, the, the counter, right? Uh, yeah, the... essentially, it's a low. As I say, the other two gates to kind of the left and the right, or the north and the south, if you're looking at the map, yeah, yeah. are um, sort of like large double doors, essentially. But this one is essentially a, a single sliding right. wooden door. Uh, lack, lack, six, lack, six. I mm -hmm. need, uh, I need, I need ten gold. I mean, you're asking. Yeah, okay, probably the wrong people. Lucky your arm's gone. still out, by the way. Uh, I think I'm probably. Well, I'm going to try and do something in a second, so they might still be out. Okay. Um, Octavius, right, Octavius is like, because he's got <laughs> he's got ten gold, but he can't give it to you. No, no, I just <laughs> I just need horse. it. No, because because those, those two are you've okay, got the best she's... disguise of a lot of us for now. Yeah, she's you're the best disguise. She's riding you in as the single rider. I'm, I'm, I'm trying gonna... to. So while you do that, what I'd like to do, Johnny, is mm. run quickly in the like in the throng of people coming in, and I want to slide underneath a, um, <laughs> a, car, a carriage through, and hold yeah. on underneath Spider Man style. Make me stealth check. I'm gonna keep it simple. I love how we're, how we're basically all just leaving each other to it. <laughs> There's no like group disguise. It's like every man for himself. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Eleven. Okay, well we'll find out how the guard does on a perception check in a moment. So as Ripper and Six kind of starting to have a discussion, uh, 
you turn around just to see uh, like running off sliding underneath the cart these spectral arms grabbing the axle and then you just see him whoop, disappear <laughs> up underneath the lip oh that that's what works well it's 20 gold for you then six i need you to cover your brother's entrance fee as well like uh, just trust me trust no, me yeah. so I, I would give it to you freely immediately if I knew how much I actually had. Go to inventory. How we'd, how we'd organize like, the kitty though, because like I don't. Two thousand. We've got loads. We've got go to go to inventory. Yeah, it's yeah no, but the thing is, I don't. Octavius think Octavius starts moving forward, like nipping people as he walks past, yeah. so that they move out of the way. No, I haven't. Uh, just this is a Sean thing, not a six thing. But I haven't added any money to my. I've, I assume someone else was handling the finances, as perhaps six. Oh no, we divided might. things. There was. There was Everyone's got their own there, money got at their the own moment. Money. But, All right, um, so whatever we, we got, got last time, I've got it. I've got that each, amount. We each got, I think we each got about 2,000 gold okay. pieces at the moment. Really? Where did that come no, from? No, we don't have, we I've have 2,000 in yeah. total. Oh, no. really? You're no, holding on to the kitty. I'm looking after it. We okay, have, have we some have money. Had... Have some money. What do you yeah, mean? No, I'm just going to assume. Each. We got given quite a lot of money. We have two. Six doesn't each. handle his own money. He lets somebody else I'm, do it. I, you know. I thought. I thought. I've I got 150 from the last last thing. Yeah, yeah. I've still got that. All right, well, fine. Give me, uh, give me, face it. Give me hundred gold out of thing, right? Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm Thank gonna, you. I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna pop my bag over the back of Octavius, as, uh, as we sort of, as we he's, sort of. He's he's moving quicker and quicker. Every yeah, yeah. And again, he's chewing a bit of hair, moving out All of right. the way. I'm waiting. I'm and I'm just waiting until we get to the to the guard, basically. It becomes your turn relatively quickly, and okay. there is the group of you minus Lack. Yeah. Who is one behind. Yeah. Uh, all right, all right, Gov. How's it going? All right. Uh, have any of you seen any of these people? And they hold out a sketch that you see immediately Hi. is three really bad and inaccurate pictures of the rest of you and one very accurate picture of Octavius. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I ha lucky. haven't seen these ones. And then I point vaguely. I'm trying not to deceive, you see. I point vaguely at the ones, the, the first oh, three, because I assume they're so bad that if I say I haven't seen them, it's not a lie. That's, such that's true. Picture. That's You're trying to persuade him you haven't seen them, so you can make a persuasion check <laughs> instead of deception. <laughs> no, mate, sure I don't ripper. think... Let me, actually, let me, let me see that again. 12. Okay. Let me, let, me, let me see that again. Yeah, right, here you go, mate. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't think I have, mate. Mm, okay. I don't think I have. So that would be uh, persuasion or deception. I'll take, I'll take persuasion. Hmm, 23. Okay, it's... hang on. God says. Oh yeah, you need to, uh, you need to check our bags, didn't you, coming in, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course, mate. We've only got the one saddle bag, basically. We dropped off in the other tan. Uh, and then we're just coming back through. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, and I and I open the saddle bag, and there's that, there's that bag of coins just perfectly perched, you know, just in the open saddle bag. And you see the guard look at it and look at you and go, "It's a long ride back to Shade Mantle." Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. all you brought you with you? Oh. Um, so then we dropped off on the other side, and now we're coming back. No, I think he's talking about. No, no, it was a. Uh, right. He was trying to get more. Oh, yeah. Anything, anything else you need to check in here, or? Well, there's the uh, customs fee. Yeah, it should all be there, and some. Thank you very much. Reaches in, takes it. It's just. Do you know takes what? Under don't, his armor. Don't drop any on your way home, yeah. Your health, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if I might give you one little uh, word of advice. Oh yeah, of course. Anything, mate. You three visitors, they're looking for three endearings uh, and uh, and a gnome lady from Zawati. Very suspicious. Now, of course, I can see that you're nothing to do with any of this, but uh, mm. you might want to get to the Revel. Oh, I've, uh, I've, uh, well, what's the Revel? <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Take the lifts, you'll see. All right, thanks. And, you know, I would totally be worried if there was only one uh, gnome and three endearies in this entire earth. But because there ain't, I think we'll, we'll, think we'll be all right. Oh, you have yourself a good day. It. Enjoy the you rest of your shift, it. mate. 
you two have a we'll have a few drinks later and yeah of course you know. mate, of course yeah so anyway right. octavius rips one as he walks away as he's unhappy <laughs> oh. with the guard taking a bribe make a charisma check <laughs> Surely it'd be nature for his tum tum. I mean, constitution. Oh, that's actually, oh constitution. constitution. Okay, yeah. I much prefer that. Makes that. Sense. <laughs> is it is natural it? twenty for twenty? Oh 23. my goodness! Yes. <laughs> that's when Bragg comes through for the pick. as you are pushing oh. through. No pun intended. You follow through <laughs> all over the guard's feet. No, um. but that's okay. That's what horses do. <laughs> Yeah, horses, horses um, don't take any Hopefully that will distract him enough to not notice me. The guy's like, oh, bloody, or, well, got enough to get cleaned at least as you go through. Um, which is going to give him disadvantage, Lack, as the next guard comes out. Oh, it's cops. Lucky for you, as it was another natural 20 and an 8. <laughs> um, I had a backup plan, but it's good. As you see the guard go to reach under the next cart just to check as the next cart through is a little bit bigger that's the moment octavius uh, releases his, his bowels <laughs> and um it goes ah oh, as he straightens up you can manage to drop off and kind of scuttle after the others saffron robes unnoticed momentarily mm. you are now in quite a large what essentially looks like a farmer's market all that is here is produce it's also quite narrow it's maybe only 30 stalls deep which you know obviously sounds big but compared to some of the towns that are mm. cities that are huge this is it's like a small town market um you look behind you and the palisade is huge maybe 150 feet in front of you as you're walking through the market you suddenly see a sheer drop and there is a 500 foot cliff and nestled at the bottom of that cliff in a little cove is the main part of the town itself as you look along you see there are three sorry there are two lifts that are arranged with pulleys they are, one of them is to the north, right at the edge, and it's right by one of the garrisons. The other one is to the south, and that's just on the edge of the market where it meets the garrison. So they're both tucked up against, uh, they're both um, next to garrisons? or So or... no, the one to the north is in front of the garrison itself. The one to the south is essentially on the map, we, um, so the one... One of them is essentially right by number four on the map. Okay. The other one <coughs> is kind of just to the side of the central block, block three. That, but okay, it's on cool. the side right by the garrison, but it's not quite in front of it. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, get Phaser off of uh, off of um, off of Horse Tavius, or whatever we called him, and then. Pull, pull horse Tavius into a, into an alleyway so he can. I guess you want to. Do you want to shake back? You're not doing it in front of everyone. Um, yes, and I immediately shape into a mouse and scuttle up onto uh, onto Toots, and I sit on top of Toots. <laughs> well, your mouse forms have gone so well in the past. I'm looking forward to seeing. I know. That. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I've got three hours in mouse form, so hopefully I won't be seen by any wandering patrols. Okay. Um, I want to grab a, a little, um, a little one running around, a, an urchin, you know, Make perception the, check. the classic, classic urchin, Oliver Twist style, 17. 17, with a 17, you see, weirdly, there are no kids. In fact, this is kind of bizarrely just kind of adults and farmers in fact there are a couple of legionnaires but there's really nothing of interest up here it's bizarre all right well i guess like someone i just want to chat to someone it's not bizarre it's a market hey. Hey. oh that's good that's that good some crackers today 
I'm, I'm good, up guys. on all this. I'm annoyed it was that good. <laughs> but I will say very proud Thank of you. you. Well done. And actually, <laughs> all we had was squeak, 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 squeak. squeak. <laughs> um, it's the funniest joke that Tavis has ever told. <laughs> uh, oh, I want to sort of grab someone and find out what this, what the the pack of revels is called. Okay, so uh, with that role, be easy enough that once you don't find a small child, you find a, someone just, a trader, just kind of leaning against their stall in short toga. But you also notice that for the first time, they're wearing kind of leggings underneath their toga. And um, they've kind of got longish, floppy, frizzy ginger hair. And uh, they see you going... You know, Oh, don't suppose I can interest you in some cabbages. Uh, yeah, go on, let's have a look. What kind of cabbages you got? Green ones. That's all right. How about... Uh, Yellow ones. Cabbage. Oh, ooh. Purple ones. Um, six. What, what, uh... You know, like, what was the, um... How did, how did your mum used to make the cabbage, right? Fry it up, fry it. What did she use, white or green? Um, did, did they uh, have purple purple, purple? purple cabbages? Oh, you got a purple one. We got one purple one, and he holds up a quite small, dishevelled purple cabbage. Yeah, mm. perfect. Come that. all the way from the distant land of Indiri. It will be one gold. Yeah, sure. Which I'll tell you what, about... is an extortionate amount. Yeah, that's amount. quite a lot. Ripper, but, yeah. These are one gobba. Um, back in India. Yeah, the mm. import how about taxes five? for the All right, all right, right, fair enough. How about, how about one gold and some information? You seem like a, a young strapping fella, you know. Um, obviously, must do must do right around the town in here, you know, selling cabbages, that um, breath of yours. So oh, it's a party life. Absolutely. So uh, one gold and some information. What's this? Uh, what's this revel everyone keeps talking about? And uh, how do we get into the good bit of it? Oh, the revel. And you seem to roll his eyes. You need to it... take the lift and you'll find all about the revel. You just honestly, it's all they talk about down there in the huddle. Do you guys think that's worth uh, one gold's worth of information? I'm not too sure. I think that suddenly dropped down to uh, half a silver. <laughs> I, I don't know what you want from me, sir. I sell cabbages. I am not... A knower of things. All right. How much? How many cabbages could I actually get with the gold? The purple one has come all the way from Indiri. That is five thousand miles. Our gold. Oh, they used the, yeah, they used the imperial us, system here. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'm surprised he even pronounces it correctly. That's I'm surprised he didn't say like well, Ein high ride. <laughs> That's oh. further than here to Mexico. I heard a song about yes, someone is. who walked 5,000 miles and then he walked 5,000 more. Yeah, and then mm. he charged one gold for this and he got a slap, didn't he? That was the <laughs> end of the story, wasn't it? All right, <laughs> fine, whatever. And I chuck, I chuck the guy one gold and I take the red cabbage and we head down. Thank you for your patronage. Um, All right. Excuse me, before we go, um, do, you, do you know of any um, reputable hostelries that, that, that we may be able to, um, to, to, to stay in? No. <laughs> oh, face, don't worry this about it. It will be sucks. fine. Trust me. No. Face, face, honestly, I haven't, I haven't ever worried about staying in a, staying in a, an hostel or an hotel. You just find them. You just find them, or they find you, uh, at a bar maybe. Um. Anyway, should we, uh, should we head down? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Before we go to the lift, I'm presuming we're both at the one that doesn't have the army right next to it. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Um, Up to you. <laughs> does, it, does it can we see it from where we are yeah absolutely so what these lifts look like are essentially rickety pulley systems that are maybe 15 feet across um and they are kind of rectangular maybe 10 feet wide 15 feet across and as you're there kind of watching you can see that produce has been loaded on and lowered down and uh mm, who would be good i think um, Ripper and Phaser, two of you could make an insight or an intelligence check for me, please. Uh, I mean, it definitely isn't going to be intelligence for me, is it? It's, it's going to be intelligence uh, for me, I think. Ooh, 
Ooh, I rolled a 19, so that means uh, 27. 22. 22. Okay. Ripper, how did you do? Seven. <laughs> You're still busy looking at the cabbage. A, a gold for a cabbage that would absolutely have cost you the equivalent of a copper back home. Mm. Um, Vaser, as you're looking with your tourist's mind, you can actually see that what's really interesting is that they seem to be loading loads of produce up and then lowering it down. And, oh, actually, when I look down at the town below, there doesn't seem to be any land for growing vegetables. It all seems very narrow, like it's on a very, very narrow beach. Oh, actually... It looks like all the food gets lowered down and that maybe that's why they've got the market up here because they have to have all the food here and then it all goes down and maybe that's why all the stuff comes from the other towns because that was a very very long way away by road okay. so you get the sense that this is the sole access point essentially these two lifts to get to the lower city because it's completely inside this cave uh, this cove sorry and that it's not possible to sustain a populace on sand you need mm. yeah. vegetables and that this farmer's market one of the reasons it's so dull is that actually this is an essential part to actually maintain this small town so are there any taverns nearby you where you are no nothing this is literally just essentially markets everything seems to be down in the lower city aside from so you've seen these garrisons you aren't sure what's past the garrisons you can see there are buildings or, or rather, um like sections of this of the town there but they are everything seems to kind of be inside palisades and as you're looking around the wooden walls themselves not just that outer wall but these are all walled off as well so it's almost like self-contained blocks a bit like for another deep cut think of attack on titan uh where you have <laughs> Like, all the city is in segments. A little bit like that. Are there people queuing up to get on this lift as well? Or is it just yeah. purely produce? No, no, you can see that there are um, a number of... Um, not tourists, but there are a number of people. In fact, can everyone make me a perception check? 21 for Ripper. 50. Ooh, eight. 23. Phase is still thinking about the, um, the actual mechanics of the lift itself and how the pulley system working. Is it by counterweights? Have they used magical balances? How do they... What is there any safety if you fall off the side? Um, Rat Rattavius got an 18, by the way. Rattavius. Well, Rattavius and uh, Sixsmith and Ripper all notice a very curious pair standing waiting for the lift mm. one uh -oh. is six feet tall with horse legs he no oh no okay. in fact you've neither of you've ever seen anyone like either of these pair it's weird one of them is six feet tall he's kind of got this long hair and these pointed ears he's kind of wearing these long flowing robes that are definitely not going to work in the weather in Chanella. <laughs> and stood next to him then the other person's a bit a bit taller than phaser they're maybe like four foot four foot five quite heavy set got a big old beard and they're wearing what looks like it's like a vest but it's all ring like rings of metal and they've got this massive axe oh my god Bradley they're wearing a leather apron that, they are gonna sweat i'm i'm starting to think that bradley knows that, what's going on i'm starting to think that johnny's putting more to some characters from a another part of Arianwell. Is this, is this, am I onto something? You don't know. You've just seen uh, these Six Smith goes good. over and chops off their heads. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> you can certainly try. try. <laughs> well, should we, should we try and queue up for the, um, the elevator then? Let's queue up behind them um, and listen to their conversation, I think. I think that well, would be as, it. Well, as we're sort of walking, I want to turn to Six and Lack and, and be like, my oh, boys, I'm going to chuck Six the red cabbage. And I'd be like, look, I know these cost a copper back home, right? 
but you can't put a price on a good memory and there's nothing better than good food so do your mum proud he's gonna carry on oh uh ripper if you would if you would um when lack and myself cook it up we would love to share the recipe with you of course um and he gives it to his brother because <laughs> he doesn't want to hold on to a cabbage <laughs> yeah yeah here you go lack thanks man okay. yeah, yeah. cheers bro yeah put it in a bag hey okay. so what are you then you're just queuing up and waiting behind these people so you yeah, hear then in. that the okay everyone make perception checks to see how much of the conversation we can hear also if these are previous characters i hope you're doing impressions of them yeah, i can say they're previous characters i've got 11. got a one <laughs> what did you say perception nine uni. yeah six i got six we all did badly didn't we oh it's just lack to go mm -hmm. <laughs> 14. Lack, you are the only one that hears this conversation. Uh, as put the cabbage else... up to my ear. <laughs> it works like a conch. It amplifies <laughs> sounds. Um, everyone else is suddenly kind of looking around for guards as they can notice a couple of legionnaires just milling around the market in pairs. You're just watching. Lack, you are just fascinated by these new people. Listen as, it's not a guard, but it's just an attendant by the lift who's talking to them in the way that English people talk to foreigners. Um, <laughs> where are you from? <laughs> you go down. Money. <laughs> and these strangers are talking in a language that sounds and um, And then the short character uh, kind of grunts quite aggressively and the taller one kind of puts his hand on and you see him kind of use an arcane sigil he goes, can you understand me now? Mm. And the attendant goes, oh, yes. Do you want to go down? Oh, yes, please. This was absolutely fascinating. Um, how much is it? Three copper each. Right, okay. Um, uh, I'm gonna looking at his... I'm gonna step forward and I'll be like, Do you need hands? Can you, as oh, Lack was the only one who could hear this? All oh, right, well, Lack nudging people and telling them. Um, well, I can see them shuffling with the like, you know, when you yeah. see someone like trying to pay with euros and you're like, What are you doing? Like, <laughs> All right, uh, no, I'll allow it. Ripper, I, I take Ripper along because I know what he's gonna do and yeah. I know what I would have done. It'd be the same thing. So, Ripper, come, come. Uh, do you guys, I'll, I'll, I'll get we'll this get one. We'll get this. We'll get this. I'll we'll get, get him. You get him. Way. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tomorrow uh, we will pay for our friends. So here's a gold. That should cover all of one. Oh, yeah. the horse. Yeah, that's going to be six just because they're much Where's... heavier. Oh, There's no, a horse. Mouse. 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 It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the horse behind. I thought that one was behind. It's right. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no that's no, somebody no. else's they're, horse. They're that horse is going to be double, mate. Yeah, it's really heavy. Good. We'll wait your turn. What about mice? I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I'm, uh, um, there's no mice on it, lift. Goes, <laughs> right, and the uh, tall stranger just goes, Ah, hello, uh, that's very kind. That's um, right. Please share this m up down move platform. It's, um, it's pretty amazing, right? Like, I never, down, I never right? seen um, nothing like that. I mean, well, lift. I've seen something like this before, like, you know, when they get bricks and stuff like that, like up high, and like rocks and stuff like that, but I ain't seen one for people like no. before. I, I've never seen one moved like this no it's it's very interesting um oh I'm ripper by the way oh put, put a palm out hello L lovely my name is fintariel what oh. fin fintariel nice to what meet does, you what does fintariel do to the hand that is outstretched to him to, to sort of shaken? looks at it holds their own out i'll unsure. grab them both and i'll put them together <laughs> them <up> <laughs> well i mean Lack, like I'm Lack. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And you see his short companion <laughs> just start laughing as you do that, Lack, and just slaps you on the back in that kind of... Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. So it's really kind of just above your bum because he is quite yeah. short. That's, um, <laughs> we'll They're talk very about that right later. They're very right friendly, the brother, aren't they? Right in the dimples. They seem very nice. This is my They're brother, friendly, Six, and this is my friend, Faiza. Um, we are all here, and we're travelling the same way. If you don't mind us all jumping on this, um, what did they call it? 
it is the up down go uh the uh no the uh espalier no uh uh, uh oh what lift. you call this thing mate it's an elevator yeah okay. ele ele elevator yeah elevator. it's sort of like is it sort of like a feather fall but um but the whole thing goes down and then it doesn't crash is that what you're saying I'm not, none of your magic around here, mate. We don't... Oh, just, just get them going. They're going to be talky once. And you see his mate by the go, mm. Yeah, all hands to remain inside at all times. Wait, and just this. pulls <laughs> like a little lever. And you hear the... <laughs> and it does the thing that window boxes do where they sway. And then just starts kind of lowering down. I'm going to be like... I'm going to be like... The, the thing that I hate to be is like talking to an uber driver i mean like so how's your day been mate and when did you start when you start shift this morning like <laughs> yeah. how long you been doing this like you know oh yeah man yeah it's like the weather's fantastic today and just By be that uh, that oh, person you know what that... those people that go sideways you've got to watch out for them they're taking your jobs mate <laughs> yeah. while, while all this is going on faith is completely ignoring everyone else because she's fascinated with the elevator so <laughs> she's actually standing on top of tools toots's tail and toots is like lifting it a little bit so that she can look at the pulley mm. um without touching mm. she's got her goggles down and her glasses down yeah uh, and it's really interesting mechanical pulley i mean it's quite similar to other ones you've seen but it's sort of refined in its simplicity if anything how can anyone build something this simple it's sort of She's Why don't they just do things a better way and you're instantly thinking of ways you could redesign this to be more mm. effective? Potentially looking for a way to make it safer, possibly. Sure, uh, make an yeah. check just for the sake of And then she's going to have a notebook and maybe be, we're making some sketches. <laughs> okay, so Ripper, say? you say you're talking to Pintaria? <laughs> yeah, I was just being like, sorry, like, how long you been in, like, this first time here? You uh, know? Yes, we, we came um, across the Asway uh, uh, Sun sea we came across the sea yeah. uh second day here yes it's oh wonderful. well you you're you're a, you're a complete day ahead of us we've only just got here um mm. so you know just trying to we're actually trying we're actually trying to get a boat to go not across the sea but like you know uh ra that, around what around you it. would all know just as a bit of context for world it's weird when he says he's come across the sea because you all instantly yeah. look out you know, to the oh, sea of storms yeah. and beyond the harbour that you can see um, it's, it's basically like an apocalypse movie. There's just uh, crashing lightning and swirl, uh, whirlwinds and yeah. tornadoes and tsunamis. I, Six is just going to assume he means something else. Yeah, like that's what I think that's water. what Rip is the sort of thing. He's doing the same thing where like, yeah, he probably just meant down the coast. Do you know what I mean? But like, <laughs> you know, he's not actually... Uh, you have a very good um your common is is very good your grasp of the language is very good what's your um, uh, original tongue your mother tongue ah uh, it's um uh, i think it does not translate i think the son hang on let me think um and you hear him then talking in this strange language to his shorter friend uh who is talking back a little bit more guttural and then um Pintarel kind of laughs a little bit. I think maybe Elvish is the best description. It It is not a direct translation, but uh, it is the common tongue amongst our peoples. You know, uh, Mother uh, Lack listened to an uh, artist, a musician uh, called Elvish. Uh, it's very good. It moved his hips. Mm. Didn't he? he had great, um, great songs. What is that one? Um... Love me, uh, love me. Rock around the like, sundial. Like, he loved that that's one. That's right. Yeah. Um, and she used to cook a lamb. Like <laughs> that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, that is that is interesting. I. I will have to hear this musician. Uh, uh, forgive me. What what is your purpose in this um, uh, town? Uh, well, a couple of things. One, first of all, get some grubbing meat, right? I'm unger bungers, yeah? Uh, Second of all... He's saying he wants some uh, food. He wants to eat uh, something. You don't you don't oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, food. yeah, yeah. That's a little patronising, but thank well, you for the you know, I just thought, uh, you know, hunger bungers might have been a little, you know... That was very hard, but th that was a little patronising. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that, and then uh, we need to buy it. We need to get ourselves a boat. Uh, but you know what, like, it's not even about making plans, though, is it? It's like, you know, you just got to... Uh, have a bit of, you know enjoy the year and now you know 
Absolutely. We're also looking for some information. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. squeak. <laughs> oh, was looking over her shoulder and going, oh, and we're also looking to cure a plague. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Right. Uh, I, I, I demonst- You're talking about the sea? Sixsmith tries to change the subject. <laughs> talking about coming across the sea? Y- yes. Um, the uh, ship, and he kind of looks out to and goes, ah, it is not here. We 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 come from across the the waves. We are uh, new here, explorers. We have come. This is where we are thought you from? we were alone. Which, which, um, where whereabouts are you from? Ah, we are from a place called um, Eleusaria. It is our country. Uh, many of us live there, but we have never. You must forgive us. Our our country is surrounded on all sides by inhospitable terrain. We we did not know there were any other lands. This is fascinating to you, find um, a new place. How did you get here? I um well there there was a boat that was made. That it is a very hard crossing. It takes many many weeks, and we nearly died almost five times a day. But we, we got here, and it is a. Uh, Exciting, uh, new possibilities of trade between our peoples and a new land and new things to learn. Please, uh, do not let me talk about. I would much rather know all of you. I see that y- you are, are are different. Are we? Are you all from the same country? Ah, uh, no. Well, no. sort of. Uh, no. This is Kynella. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's close enough. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you shouldn't be here for very long. <laughs> squeak, 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 better squeak, 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 better squeak, 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 <laughs> No, I think, I, I think they pronounce it Chinella, like, oh, like this thank thing. You. Yeah. Right, Chin. Okay, thank yeah. you. Good. Yeah, that wasn't patronizing, but what I did was, yeah? Okay. Well, it was a little bit... Uh, just... Oh, well, you know, it's just... Uh, it's, it's helpful to have, like, a, to have a, a moniker, you know? Monica, yeah, no. yes. and then also a reminder. And, uh... Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> right. Um, you must be important people to have uh, travelled uh, over the sea uh, to come here. You must have great purpose here. Desperate ones, yes. Not uh, great by any stretch. I'm, you know, bless his name. I'm hardly a loser, but I am. Our people are struggling. There is. Uh, evil and corruption is plaguing our lands and our cities are in peril so many of us are seeking help and new lands new friendships something we hear that the strange things are happening here too mm, corruption well, you, plague yeah, uh, yeah. you will find war. friendship here with us uh, absolutely but you will not find any solutions to these things or any different than you have at home to be I'm fair, to if I'm being totally honest, right, the Chinellans as well, pretty rude, right? <laughs> not they're not like endearings. Like, is the guy that... on the doing the elevator? Is he Chinellan? No, so like... he's not. It's not like a manual one where they're doing it. They're doing <laughs> okay. it at the top from a lever. All right, I'm thinking Abe's Odyssey or whatever, but right. it's not. I'll tell you what, like Chinellans, yeah, more they're pretty like, endearings. Squeaking. <laughs> Endearing's yeah, like, like us, that's where we're from. We're from Indiri, right? Yeah, you know, we, one or two of the Chinelans are nice, you know? Like, we've met a couple of nice ones, just one or two, you know, just the ones we know, our friends. Uh, yeah, I found them a little the good ones. Um, blunt. Mm. Yes, they are quite. So, Indiri, where is. Where are you in relation to this? Well, apparently, someone told us it was 5,000 miles away just now, <laughs> so. Um... Right, oh, this is a long way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's, uh, yeah, so like, you know, you just keep going down. There's like horrible desert, basically like that. And he points to the sea, but of course it gets everywhere. Yeah. We have one a little similar. Yeah. Uh, yes, no, deserts are not fun. Uh, I'm, well, it is a pleasure to meet you all here. Um, we thought we would see the markets, but uh, they were not very impressive. It was just food. And again, you can see that his kind of larger friends, shorter but larger friend kind of kind of kind of talking to him and then he responds he goes ah, sorry he's a little lift out my spell does not work for the both of us and what you call common is not common to us we are it is taking time and my friend is a little um well almost in his 
You messed up and I'll slap, and I'll slap him on the back. How, <laughs> how far is the lift now? Is it about halfway? Is it like halfway? three quarters of the way down now? You've only got a little okay. bit left. Um, and he's yeah. actually going to turn to you, Phaser. Say, well, hello. Uh, this is remarkable. You look so familiar. Oh. We, I mean, forgive me. You, you. Are you an, uh, a, 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 a gnome? Um, uh, uh, close. Uh, I'm a gnome. Um, maybe uh, they're gnome. similar. Maybe. This um, is. We we have gnomes in our people. They I, I maybe you are distant cousins of some kinds. Um, I don't know. Are, are, are any of your gnomes red? Um, uh, green, no. Or... No, they are uh, are normally. Um, paler or sometimes uh -oh. bizarre colors but not not so urban as yourself okay she looks a little bit can't. disheartened <laughs> can't say urban okay. can't say urban mate urban <laughs> <laughs> like the terracotta <laughs> sorry i couldn't resist um, uh, that's, that's, um, um, that's that's interesting um I, i'm i'm from uh, a country called Zawati, um, which Zawati. is uh, down south as well. It, it's beyond the same, the, the wastes as well. But um, yeah. Wow. Um, this I, is. I, I don't. I don't know. Um, See him reach notes. into some robes and just pull out a notebook. He goes, please. Oh. Uh, and you see him go, Inderi, beyond the desert, Zawati, has red gnomes. Oh. Hmm. Uh, um, I mean, there's not many. I, 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 in fact, I, I don't think I've ever met another red gnome. Um, oh. But, but okay, um, that's oh, good. Okay. Um, Scribbles out the red gnomes. Has <laughs> a red gnome. Sure. <laughs> um, oh, and and so has got a T in it, and she's because she's noticing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you. Are, I'm okay. trying to. If I write in your language, maybe I will learn it quicker. It is taking oh. me some time. Speaking of tea, did you want to share some with them? Um... Phaser, oh, I don't think we get to the bottom. To... Are we at the bottom yet? Um, Almost, and La yeah. Lax yeah. looking around to see if there's any stairs at all. Can we see from where we Make are? Make a perception check. Um, can we also see why well, boys doing that? Do that. Um, perhaps we can see um, if there's a, a, a tavern or something from here, and that maybe we can go and because if we're hungry um, and your friend would like tea, um, then maybe maybe we could find somewhere. That we'll Octavius wants there. to okay. try and smell for food down below, <laughs> like cooked mm. food. Okay, you make a perception check. I'm just okay, gonna resolve I've this. I've got advantage Thank on you. these. Uh, with 11, you, can, you can't see any stairwells down, it just seems to be the lifts. Um, so, basically, you know what, it's the strangest thing. And he kind of addresses all of you, he goes, you also have this word tavern, and yet they mean very different things. In our land, a tavern is sort of a, a smoky, dark building where we all just sit inside. Here, you, you, there are benches outside, and <sighs> you you don't have mugs. There's been a plague going around. People don't like sitting indoors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you're talking about a pub. We call those pubs. Dingy, smoke everywhere. Everybody mm. looks at you funny when you come in. Well, yes, we well, we too have these pubs, but here they, they call them tervenas, and mm. it is... It is wonderful. It is not bad. It is it is interesting, you know. So similar, different cultures, similar. Do words. you have weather like here? I uh, no. We, it mostly rains. But that might explain some of it. Hmm. You must try the kale here. It's very good. <laughs> kale? Uh, we shall add it to the list. Mm. Oh, you must with um, a K, not a C. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you must have you. um, uh, the same gods, I imagine. The gods are the gods. You must have. The, uh, although you're so far away, you must believe the same things as us. I. Oh, it is interesting. Different people. I'm still learning. You. You have seven gods. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, fascinating. But we have okay. different beliefs and amongst our own people. I, I myself, Elvish people are not particularly religious. My friend here, he uh, he worships Ankozun, who is the god of his people. And uh, at the mention of Ankozun, you can see that the Hesuit uh, character <laughs> kind of looks up and just holds up his battle axe and just kind of points. And on the battle axe is this emblazoned figure with a kind of very symbolic, um, really Nordic looking um, battle hammer on it. Oh, 
that's really interesting. Oh, can I, can I, may I? He grins sort of... and there's about four teeth in his mouth. It's like a death metal <laughs> cover. Um, uh, out of curiosity, um, uh, Faze is just going to have a look at the, the axe to be polite as well. But also, she wants to see if there are any symbols that are similar to those odd symbols that we saw on the... Because we great, all know that there's... Great these, question. Uh, Make these. an intelligence check. That's a really good idea. I'll let mm. you have advantage. Mm. Thanks. Investigation, oh, that was, even. That, that was... Oh, investigation is... Oh, the line caller. Oh, that's better. So that was a nine. <laughs> uh, and that was a 13. You are certain that they are, these symbols are completely different. They are a completely different language. Um, what's interesting is that it doesn't seem to, as you've travelled, you've seen that although Indiri and Zawati and Chinela are completely different now, you know that the lang all the languages share a common root language, which is how common has evolved between your peoples. Um, this, it's like us looking at Cyrillic or Sumerian or... Um, you know, Chinese characters, we're, we're looking at it going, that's writing, yes, lovely. <laughs> very nice. She it's around this little, time. She she it very nice. To the, to the, to the, to the door. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Pray, pray, good. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, the dwarven chaps kind of smiling back with three teeth. And it's about this time <laughs> the lift kind of <laughs> touches down and they lost the tooth. <laughs> Gates swing open. It's grown in in the time. Scurvy. Scurvy, what's Scurvy will do to you? And uh, these kind of figures going up, going, well, we are going to, um, to I believe it is called the Huddle. This seems to be where most of the Tavernas and um, um, shops are. Mm. You are more than welcome to join us if you have your own business. We would not want to. No, I think we need to find somewhere too. And on the way, let me tell you a story. And I'm sure Ripper will will gladly tell him Tell a story. them a true one, Ripper. Tell them a real one. As you're walking, we're going to go to a Batman. <laughs> to allow us to have a quick break, because we are running a little bit behind where I wanted to. So we're going to have a quick break. And as we come back, we will drop back into wherever we have got to. Yes. Mm. Lovely.
And welcome back. So we find ourselves uh, at the bottom of this lift, and as you've come down, the main things you've noticed about the city, or this town, sorry, reflexively say city, but it's a, it's a large town, or a large-ish town. These twin arms snake out, and as you were on your way down during your conversation, you'd seen that they were essentially, one arm was in front of the other, as is shown on the map, blocking out the worst of the storm and it does seem that maybe a hundred feet out past the arms the sea is perfectly calm if one would stick just to the coastline one is not hit by the raging storm on the sea of storms but everywhere else is just complete nightmare what's fascinating as well is in the middle of the harbour as you were going down you can see a string of very brightly coloured tents what look like tents, floating on pontoons that are joined by thin walkways. These are all you would have seen as you come down, came down. Now you are actually level on the ground with your two new friends, one of whom you can talk to. Um, you find that they are heading towards the place that they had called the Huddle, which uh, is area seven on your map it's kind of the central area of this town would you like to go there with them or yeah. are you going to divert i don't see reason why we shouldn't travel with them uh, isn't that where we were heading anyway that sort of way yeah possibly yeah okay so as you um travel with them ripper is telling a story just give me a performance check to see how well that story goes down 21 Mm. Spliff, spiffingly, actually, you manage <laughs> to, um, with occasional interjections from Lack, Six and Phaser to get over some of the more colourful colloquialisms that you've employed, uh, manage to kind of convey quite a, would you prefer it to be a funny or an emotional story? I'm assuming. Oh, it's funny, always funny, isn't it? It's always a funny, funny story that has um, Fintariel kind of laughing and the his dwarven companion looking very confused. He then speaks to him in what you would assume is Dwarvish, and then his companion laughs. And so it's kind of going through these translations. And you talk a little bit about your backgrounds and your journeys, obviously keeping a lot back, but just some general things about the lands you're from. He asks you questions about the gods themselves. You ask him a little about, you know, where he's from. And this kind of banter brings you to the huddle. Now, the huddle the buildings are still wood, which is very unusual still and they're much much closer together you can see the occasional marble building now um but they are much much newer and in the huddle the buildings are very close together they are still chanel and style they're still these kind of courtyarded domus with um two front doors into them but it, it kind of very very cramped there's not really alleys even the roads themselves are just they're roads but they're narrow you, you certainly couldn't be pulling carts unless there were more than a single cart down here. Um, and then this kind of leads you through until you find the Agora or the, the kind of the market area, which is just filled with rows and rows of what could, could kind of charitably be described as tourist crap. Now, what's really interesting is it's... It, this is a new industry. In fact, everyone make an insight check. Let's see what we can... Um... Oh, I can use Octavius for this bit. Oh, I've got a four. Ooh, 20, <laughs> 8, 28. Oh, no Death way. Octavius. You bragged my dog. But I can't communicate any of it. Cause I'm <laughs> <laughs> Nine. Anyone get over a 12? I've got an 18. Okay, so anyone over a 12 would kind of surmise that... Everyone else under a 12 is going... Well, these stalls are weird. Um, everyone else looking at them, they are filled with like I love London shirts and the equivalent. It's things that have no value and no meaning that aren't nor is normal tourist goods. You know that this town is so far away from everywhere that it doesn't have the selection that the rest of um, even Chanella has of goods from Indiri, certainly Southern Chanel of it's a little bit more active in its trade. Things like even olives are a little bit scarcer here. So the fact that they've kind of, all this stuff also looks very, very new. And anyone who say it with over a 12 on Insight would guess that this is a very new industry that's cropped up recently. And um, Fintariel kind of explains 
Well, our people first came mm, maybe six months ago, and mm. it takes about a month each. Do you have family? Because this is great t-shirts, and my brother came to Wildman, and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Wild Mounts? Oh, that that's some. Gosh, I just crossed place. over to a. I just crossed over to Matt Mercer. I'm so sorry. Yes, now uh, that's Wild legally Joe. indistinct. <laughs> 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 free plug. Free plug. <laughs> pull the plugs, pull it, pull it. Pull it. Um, pull it. Run. Pull it. Pull it. <laughs> Mercer watches this, like turns around his chair, like cancel them. <laughs> I tell you what, I'd I'd be okay with it if Mercer watched it for one minute. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. I'd be like. <gasps> <laughs> and be like wild sure it's fucking sticking an e in the middle of words doesn't make it cool oh wait <laughs> <laughs> um so uh goes, uh, yes i i doubt i will return the triples arduous if i am honest i have lost my sea legs i hope mm. to um explore south maybe to indiri but thank you i will um well if you're ever in indiri and we happen to be there at the same time. I'll guide you around the bits that I know. My that brother is... will know more. He's travelled uh, more than I have. I'll, uh, uh, and probably um, Rip has probably travelled the most. Well, I'll show you the. I'll, I'll show you the cool spots. Right, it'll probably take right. you to the museum. My brother will show you all the, the spots where people get very buried. Warm. Um, I'm not I take can show you the mountain. site of a great skirmish, mm. and then another over the hill over there, another great skirmish, and then over there another third great skirmish. That is marvellous. I think Krem would really appreciate that. Um, but for myself, I'm a scholar. It is not... Combat is not really... But thank you. Oh, then I'll show you the fancy bars then, you know, where they drink uh, where they drink the wine. Yeah, do they sell books? Uh, sure. Our tradition is mostly passed down through stories of verbal. Right. Um... But there are lots of things that are written down. Uh, well, I would, I would be fascinated to learn. This is, it is, you know, all new. Uh, and as you were walking around, you kind of talking. Are you? You said you earlier wanted to look for a kind of a taverna. Are you looking for a taverna, or are you mm. just browsing the crap? Johnny, I've, I've got a thing that I'd quite like to do. Absolutely, which, um, what would you like to do? I'd then? quite like to keep my eyes out. This seems like a place of mingling. I'd quite like is. to look out for any people of my persuasion, maybe wearing the white robes of the Wandering Lotus. Well, wouldn't you know, make a perception check and let's see what we can find. Oh, this is when I roll a one, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's great. 23. So as you're wandering around, you find at... So kind of think of it as like an agora. You've got the, the kind of shop in essentially a piazza is that is the market, and then around it are um, like the equivalent of Yates's. That they <laughs> are tavernas, but instantly you can clock them and be like, it's hmm. not, it's not something you want to get. And yet, at one of those tavernas, <laughs> the first thing you notice looking around these places is there are a lot more of these short people and some tall pointy-eared people but there's also more humans that just look very different they are much pastier for a start um but not pasty like Nürmengart pasty these are just different they're also wearing kind of quilted clothes and um kind of what we would think of as even up to kind of like slightly victorian-esque um kind of mili military brocades and things so the clothing itself is very alien but nestled among those you do catch just a dash of uh, white robes and you see a couple of people at this long trestle table in with these foreign visitors all drinking they are tentatively looking at their terracotta cups and kind of sipping and then looking at each other and then drinking more um brother um i've seen um a person that i may want to go and talk to um is is that okay yeah he sort of says um before you even say is that okay he goes yeah i'll come with you because he <laughs> assumes that that's what you know like like saying whether it is or not that's what he assumes he's saying well, you can come along for sure yeah i know i know 
Let's go. Uh, how do you know them? Are they the garden? Is it from the garden? Um, they are um a different um, a different uh, part of um the wandering Nudu, different um Kalari. Oh, like a different school, a monk school, mm. different yes. school of yours. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it could be interesting. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to get to know maybe some of the other the rivals. You know, maybe you sort of mm. played each other at sport and things. You know, like we did in the army, different uh, mm. brigades and things. Yeah. Okay. Let me just finish my uh, whatever street food we've just picked up. I'd like to think the it's worst me oh. sort of stick. Oh, okay. I was <laughs> going to say it's like grapes and uh, no, no, no. okay, this is like. Oh. Roman lounging on the back of Toots with like five grapes. I mean, that, that's absolutely <laughs> happening as well, but they are dried slightly. <laughs> that's fine. Raisins. 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 They're still really Raisins. good. Yeah. Like, you know, when you get that really sweet raisin, and you're like, how is this raisin so <laughs> sweet? This might be the one Toots raisin is, that uh... turns me around. <laughs> to Toots has managed to shape her because she can move her um, scales. She's trying to, she almost made it look like a little mini chaise long. Just for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Funny you mentioned that, Christine. Hold on to that thought for later. I swear you're psychic. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, is anyone else, are you two appealing off to go to this taverna? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you do easily you cross the market and they are there. At, like There is almost a plot device that enables two people to kind of get up and leave the trestle, mm -hmm. finishing their meal at the exact time. I don't sit down immediately, but I, I bow before him, or uh, them. And say, uh, Nam yo yo. They smile and say, please, come and sit. Um, kind of pulling back the hoods, you see two, um, one has got shaving down the side, and the other has beautiful, long, dark hair flowing down, and it's she that speaks first. And she says, ah, welcome, brother. My name is Timana, and this is Vastu. Imagine meeting another friend so far from home. Um, I am wondrous at the occasion too. Please share our food. Thank you. This is my brother, Sick Smith. Um, he um, he wanted to come along and see you too. <laughs> well, blessings um, of the great mother upon you both. That's very kind of you. I'm I'm just here, I suppose, like you, just um enjoying this new place hmm. we seek wisdom wherever it may be found that brings me keenly to my question i seek wisdom from those wiser than me um, a wise course mm, i am traveling um with my brother on um on a pilgrimage to follow my mother's um journeys in her life um in death and um we are finding much about the chinelan uh culture and um, also about being here and where we might go from here on our journey. Is that a question, though? It seems a statement. You say you are learning much. Yes, and I would like to learn more and maybe learn where I may go to find more. Hmm. Samana sort of sits back and looks over at Vastu, who looks back and... Tamana says the wandering lotus drifts where the river takes us in this we find as Feliana sends meaning and life through her waters we arrive where we need to be when we need to be I would advise you to seek the winds that stir you and listen for voices that feel right. We cannot tell you what right is, that would be presumptuous, but you will find your path if you listen. Those in the saffron are a little more structured than ourselves, but we would invite you to try our methods. I'm finding myself drawn more and more to the idea. No mud, no lotus, right? Well, of course. And uh, Bastu leans forward again and says, 
Learning and praying are all very well. But there is no substitute for seeing. And for listening. Sometimes our own desires, our own wants, prevent us from seeing the joy. Take this place. Yes, I could look at this boots and look at this... Well, they call it bread, but look at it. And he holds it up and it is... Cheap. It's, like I said, you, you're on a ferry kind of food <laughs> at this point. And it says... Were I attached to such things, I could consider this disappointing and remember my mother's. Or I could simply say, these people who live at the edge of the world still have bread. In all things, there is beauty. It is up to each of us to find the beauty in these things. For me, it is in seeing the order in the difference. What is it that moves you? For me, it is seeing the chaos within the order. Mm. And uh, Tamana can laugh. <laughs> I think that is very wise. Well, I'm sorry, I, I did not catch your name, brother. La Krishnu. Oh, La Krishnu. May chaos find you, that you may study it. But may it be the chaos of a kindly Lorian, and not his trickster self. Mm. Some people are just misunderstood. <laughs> well, listening can help with that. And you, Sixsmith, I, I believe your brother introduced you. I can see you, you serve the king. This is marvellous. What do you seek on your pilgrimage? Oh, um, I don't know if you monks can help me, uh, if, if your order can help me. Uh, I'm just here to support my brother. You know, I just sat down. Just I've just come to, you know, support him. Uh, the uh, the uh, great mother, um, in her wisdom, um, gives you. Uh, many challenges in life some of them you face alone some of them you face with others and i'm hoping that if there are challenges to come i may face them with my brother uh, head on um maybe he will succeed where i failed that is the the uh, curse of um family i suppose um, i don't know fast smiles and says carrion gives his all to lift feliana's waters and carry them monsoons but let us not forget that Carrion has his own strengths and his own victories there is no shame in helping another but if Carrion lived only for Feliana he would not have birdsong uh, to birdsong young monk and he he goes to he's seen them drinking right before they came yeah. over they're all drinking he, he goes to cheers it because it's a little bit more soldiery for him to sort of divert I think with like a you know a cheers they give a very knowing smile and look at Lakrishnu and sort of give a knowing look knock back their drink uh, as only sardus can and just pop them down and say well a star truly shines upon our meeting I'm going to stand up and bow and um, head back to the party. Come, brother. It has <laughs> been a pleasure. Yes, likewise. And Six returns the bow at the end of the meeting. As you're walking off, uh, Tamana's going to just grab your hand, Black, just very gently. And she says, Listen and trust. But Chaos is a dangerous path. But there is wisdom in there. I have my guides with me. I trust them. The blessings be on your journey then, brother. Nam yo horenge kyo. And the, uh, as he leaves, the little turquoise stone from under his hand bindings just falls out. Taps her hand. And he tucks it back in quickly. 
to Nance and then they both stand and move off in their own way and you see as you're walking that they have a much more relaxed sort of aimless walk than Lack although Lack's very agile these look almost lazy in the way that it's much more of an amble Sunday morning stroll <laughs> as they disappear through the crowds brother I don't know the, the, your order were like that were they not I, at I don't all. know what, don't know no, what they no, were talking nothing about. like those uh, the, this bread is quite good I think you know oh, they talk a lot of rubbish they, if they're talking they've about traveled bread. far and wide and tasted many breads these breads aren't anything like mother nana yeah no of course not but I'm talking about chinella standards you know exactly and bad. that's what they were saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like they're not like your, your order. No, not at all. Um, what did I have they, only what... heard much of. I have only heard little of them, but um, they are traveling, um, traveling school. Oh, of what do they tra what, you, to travel? You must have a purpose. What do, what do they do? What is no, their, purpose? their their purpose is no purpose. It's a, it's a strange. I have never got my head around it, <laughs> but the idea is to find oneself by losing oneself yeah um, okay oh okay yeah 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 i get it i get it they follow it the doesn't. lotus flower the <laughs> lotus flower drifts sir oh uh, okay oh now i actually do get it yeah hmm. um so and yours was um your order uh did, did what exactly what was the purpose of the uh oh they know, taught me what? many things many things taught me discipline uh -huh. taught me focus mm -hmm. uh-huh uh-huh that's what uh -huh. mother sent me off for huh? And after I broke the riding horse, she sent me off. I didn't think that that was why she sent you off. It was the day after. You know, mm. I broke your horse. She sent me off. I didn't. It was just... No, it was just a horse. It was just a... Just a it doesn't matter. It was just a thing. And she was upset. You were upset. That's what yeah, I thought. I, I would, I'm always upset. But... I know that now. <laughs> she didn't send you away because of that. She sent you away for your safety. It was dangerous in the village. You were young. You know, a second mother, she she had passed on. She had got, she'd gone away. Not left, but, but she'd gone away. And, and you, I, it was for your safety that she sent you away. I didn't feel like that at the time. But you were safe at the, at the um, school, right? It was good. It was... Um, you hear talk about it, you know, it's very special. Everybody said, oh, it, he's a very special boy to go away, you know, very lucky. You would be lucky, Six Smith, to go away on, on you know, to this school. Very sure, far boy. away. Good, um, was, good teachers. There was much special about it, huh? And it's at this point that everyone, as you are kind of finally catching up to the group, that you all hear... Uh, Sirenscape is just crashing for me. <laughs> you all here. Ladies and gentlemen, all in between, all beyond. Gentle folk, come one, come all to the rebel. Let loose your cares. Join us beyond the water. Anyone who would come, we await you at the docks. And as you look, you see walking through. If you could design the perfect man, that's not Ripper. Um, nice save. <laughs> it would be this guy with chiseled job not too chiseled he's just soft enough to have that kind of uh cheeky Keep lad smile Keep going. <laughs> swept dark hair he's not wearing a top but he <laughs> is wearing Jealous. loads of bangles that are all slightly glowing on each arm and he is Shang walking along carrying little tokens and flicking them out to the crowd. Plenty lands by your feet if you would like to have a look. I'm gonna at whistle, them. like get them to chuck one at me. Can can um, can Ratavius like try and catch one, just like lounging? Make an athletics check <laughs> at disadvantage. 
using the mouse stats. Yeah. Um, Ripper, just, you can I love the idea that he goes one. to catch it and it's like, boom, it's just like it's, it just sends it flying back. <laughs> it's, it's a five, so. That's exactly what happens, <laughs> but it sends him flying so hard that Ripper, you catch him <laughs> and just get the token. And it's a little wooden token, and on it, it has almost like a coin a face of a woman on it. That seems to be it. Um, just so pro profile and much like a coin it, it it's a face there's not much else to be discerned from it um, and they lead you back to um, or they're kind of you see that these groups people going up and throwing it say topless very short tunic um, like calves for days and like really Keep tall entwined sandals just like that, but <laughs> even better. And um, can it be? Can it be better? It's like <laughs> Marvel, I've got Ryan. Fan, it's I've like got Marvel. Fantastic calves. I've got fantastic yeah. calves. Yeah, yeah. Well, these are spectacular. <laughs> and uh, comes and he's just throwing that and talking to the crowd. And you see him bending down and saying, "No, no, no. A little too young, I'm afraid. But maybe when you're older." Yes, let loose your cares. Let loose all that you know. Join the revel. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, team. This sounds fucking fantastic. I'm going to go. I'm with you, Ripper. Straight away. Mm. Do we not Come need to them. find some information about squeak, 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 squeak? Oh, I can't hear with this squeaking. <laughs> I think it means yes. If only I think, we I had talked to animals. Sure. Yeah. That's the only thing. Look he's, look, he's holding the coin in his mouth as well. So, you know, he must be... Uh, it wants he it. must be up for it. Yeah, he must want it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> if Octavia said it's good to go, then I think we should go. You know, otherwise if he'd said no, said I would have thought... Just because you got it in your mouth does not mean you're up for it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> you so what what you were saying? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not sure Octavius is... Is, is that keen? Um, yeah, look, he's very excited. What, what? Jumping up and down, isn't he? Weekly with the look, coin in his mouth. Look, I get it. I get it, right? You've got to have a plan. you got to, like, you know, figure out what we're doing, yeah? But this place is called the Revel. That guy's got the best abs I've ever seen, yeah? So, just have a bit of fun. Um, uh, I'd, I'd quite like to um, maybe have a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, can we have a, a rest or something before we go? Um, I don't know. Um, about the table. I mean, is well, this something that happens every day? Left, we'd ask it. It yeah, well, do we know much about the revel? Does it? If only there was someone loudly walking around talking about it that you could talk to. <laughs> Oi, Gov! I imagine he's a he's a well aged Taryn Edgerton. No, like, he's, that's it's much more a um, a John Hamm type figure. No, what are we, what are we looking at? What what we what? What's Brad Pitt and guy? Troy. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Much more right. that kind of. Yeah. Um, but with a little. I'm there. Bit, I'm going to say a little bit of. Um, not currently in vogue, but like, kind of the edgy cheekiness of a '90s Depp as well. Just that little bit okay. of smarminess, but without crossing over into. Mm -hmm. A brony, if you were. Yeah. And uh, the gentleman comes over to you and goes, "Well, aren't you?" A handsome chap. Oh, are you a handsome chap? I think let's smash us together and make one gorgeous man together. I would love that. So now, would I. could I interest you in joining the party of your life? I, I mean, well, you haven't got to convince me, right? But this one down here. Um... Hello there, little sister. And look at you. Aren't you glorious? Oh, thank you very much. You're very shiny. Um, oh, thank you. I That's decide? mostly oil. I thought so. That's, um, I, it, it, it helps you stand out very much. It doesn't. And um, must does. be very useful if you ever got into any difficulties. Um, I've got a question. Um, the the rebels. I mean, we've we've just arrived in Wildshore, and I think we might need to um uh, rest and, and and get clear and prepare for for the rebel. But, but what is it? And 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 does it happen every night? Is it a common thing? Um, just just, just arrived, fresh off the lift, so to speak. Well, well let me tell you, fresh. let That's me put your <laughs> mind your put your mind at rest. The revel never stops. 
You can come this afternoon, you could come in the morning if you wish. You could even get the boat this evening. The boats run once an hour. I don't mean to be bawdy, but when he says come, I imagine he's looking directly in Ripper's eyes as he says it, you know? <laughs> you can imagine that all you like. <laughs> mm. And he probably is. May I ask, um, uh, wh where do the boats take you? Where, where is the rebel? Is it far? They take um... you wherever you need to go. To a place where your sorrows are lost. To an experience you will never forget. I feel like I definitely need to rest up if I'm going to be doing this tomorrow. Oh! Of course, you may join us today, you may join us tomorrow, it is of no loss. Please keep the tokens, you will need them to get on the boat. Mm -hmm. Very much. Are, my, are, are rats allowed? <laughs> rats of... Oh, bless your little friend. Of course we would make no uh, distinction. Octavia's like edging away. <laughs> <laughs> And he especially bends down and looks at Toots and says, My, I've never seen anything like you before. Aren't you unique? Um, and Toots, um, if it was possible, uh, you could almost say that by the shuffle of her scales, she might be blushing. <laughs> yeah. Octavius would like to insight to see whether yeah. that unique was a malicious sort of unique. Yeah. Insight check. And then, and while that's happening, Six goes, um, Oh, I'm sure you've seen a child dressed up as a as an as a creature before, um, to try and pretend like it's a it's one someone's child in a sure. In make a, a deception check. So it's a sixteen for insight. I will WhatsApp you. Ooh, oh. mouse as well, so I can't even tell anybody. <laughs> it's just, so the WhatsApp's just going to be squeak, 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 tweet, squeak, 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 squeak. squeak. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do that now. Um, I only got a 10 in my deception. Okay. So, how do you respond? Deception is a no, 19. It, I think because my finger got stuck on the thing, it clicked twice. Oh, okay, fine, sorry. Thank you for being honest. No. Um, he says, well, of course I've never seen a child. I've seen many children in costume, but I've never seen a mechanical marvel. You'll fit in marvellously, my dear. Rest today, rest tomorrow. It is of no loss to me. I would love to see you there. He looks at Ripper, gives you a wink, and says, There are many challenges. There are many games. There is much to learn. If you get there, maybe you'll be lucky that I will be your boater across. My name is Ravenos. Mm. It would be my pleasure to see you. Ravenous Ravenos. Am ha, I right? You are the first to ever make that joke. <laughs> Face, face. Inside check? No, no not <laughs> necessary. Tug, not tug, tug six miss uh, sleigh would just go, I don't think you're the first to make that joke. <laughs> I, and then six, without even like getting the sort of joke or being in the tone, just goes, keep an eye on Toots, I think he's going to steal her. What? Faze is really confused. But he's so nice. All right, I think we better, uh -huh. uh, better find a... Uh, place to rest up for the night and then get into Might the... I suggest? Yeah, I'll tell you what, actually, um, Re uh, actually, Ravenos, I, I've seen all this, like... Ravenos. Ravenos. All this, like, tourism stuff, yeah? Like, it's obviously, cool. I know it is, right? Like, it's, it's tacky. But the thing is, I know that, like, the Revel's the best place to be, that's where the cool kids are, that's where the party is, right? I get that. But where's the next bit, right? Where's Where do we go that's just... It's not going to be inflated like this well if i'm honest there's not a lot in the wild sure not really a party place that's why the revel thrives if you want somewhere a little um quieter and less filled with these eleusarian types who are oh lovely i might add it's just that an economy has sprung up around here that one does find a little distasteful then you could always try the founders quarter to the south there's more reasonable dwellings and bars along there. I might suggest the Rotten Orchard. Sounds pretty good. It's possible, if I'm <laughs> honest, but there is no room to sleep on the Revel unless you live there. So mm. you will have Plus, to I imagine people don't really do much sleeping anyway, so... Uh... You would be amazed, my dear. 
uh, Bradley, in this lull, I think I'll tell everybody that Bradley has translated Johnny's message to us um, in our sort of uh, players chat. Um, and it says squeak, 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 ellipses, squeak, squeak. So oh. true to his word. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, then, um, thank you very much for your information. Uh, I cannot wait to spend some time with you tomorrow. And we shall, uh, shall we go and... Uh, Get a rest, rest up, shall we? Well, I look forward to maybe seeing you there. If you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to my child. And he struts away. Ripper, make an insight check. What are you checking? His bulge. <laughs> got a nine. He's checking the sachet level. A nine is, <laughs> bizarrely enough, there was a very low DC on this. He's walking in a very particular way on purpose. Hmm. It's a good looking buck. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how many squats he does in the morning. 79! <laughs> yeah. That's 10 off the good number. <laughs> starts, um, he's, Ripper starts at a thousand. Every morning when I wake up, he's on a thousand. <laughs> oh, brother. Brother, brother. And you can see him just walking off saying, Roll up! Who would join the rebel? Lose your cares as he is talking to more of the crowd. Okay, we we should find this place to to bed in for the night and have a chat about the rebel and yeah, find our find our feet before we head in. Okay, well it doesn't take much time at all to walk to the south, and as you do, the stores themselves kind of change away from quite so many of the markets uh, selling kind of quite touristy stuff and quite cheap Chanel and cuisine. And you get to a place that is filled with small black buildings, the wood itself kind of covered in pitch and tar, um, still in the style. And you get the sense that this is very much like when you go to a small fishing town and you find where the locals live. Mm -hmm. And there's no frippery here. There is nothing that's denoting any sense of ever expecting anyone to visit. There are some local tavernas that you can see are still sat outside. They have got kind of, they're more covered awnings than you are used to. There's less of just the vines and the grapes and more actual kind of cloth material awnings with outside um, fires and heating devices. And there are, you quickly find the rotten orchard as well and it's directly located next to one of these tavernas. Are you going to stop and kind of do dinner and just go straight to bed or is there anything else you'd like to do today? I want to... So you said it's like not very touristy area? Not at all. Cool. So I want to... I guess I'd probably rip up want to eat some food first. I don't know how everyone else feels. Oh, Octavius uh, is going to rush into an alleyway. Check there's no one watching. About this time, yeah, it's rough. it's wearing off. Yeah, it's wearing off now, so he's going to turn mm. back and talk to this and put his hood up, make sure that there's no part of his hair that is visible, and, and then continue. Um, oh, no, Octavia, you should be fine. We saw that ginger ginger guy I put up there earlier, um, you know? You'll be fine. Well, this is not quite ginger. Um, I'd rather we just didn't get seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, shall we... Uh, so I sort of want to... So, uh, go to go to the taverna, right, and sit down, and I assume someone will come out and see us. Yeah, it's a little old bloke who's kind of like mm. sixty-five, um, still pretty sprightly, slim. Comes yep. out and goes, oh, "Hello, how can I uh, help?" I want to find the oldest-looking guy in the bar, or where we're sitting, or whatever. Yeah, and I want to go. Right, that man clearly eats here. For, has eaten it for a very long time and loves it. I want whatever he orders normally. <laughs> Phileas, yes, he's been here like all of us most of our lives. Mm. Um, he obviously keeps coming back to this taverna for something gorgeous to eat. And, it's uh, the cheapest on the road, yes. That's all right. <laughs> I'll give cheap you... Doesn't, cheap doesn't always denote quality, right? It's heart and love and good food that denotes yeah, that. I feel like we'll be eating plenty of hearts here. I don't know what they mm. have on the menu. <laughs> Clearly... <laughs> local well let me give you the menu tonight we've got fish soup great fresh i imagine from out there do you have any um <laughs> rice or um chilies 
I don't know what you mean. Do you not have? Hang on one second. And Lax, why order the food? And Lax gonna go search for some chilies. <laughs> hey, Lax, um, where are you searching? Well, all the food's coming down, right? So. Oh right, all right. So you're gonna walk back like forty five minutes back oh, through the market. Not for stuff. that chilies, geez. No, you're right. So like you not. you kind of walked through an entire town, and because by this point, if you're thinking about, do going I remember to bed, any you... place having chilies on the way through? Um. There were some very desiccated, so very dry, like the enough, equivalent of I did Tesco that, chili flakes. So like interestingly you've got enough, I did that smell for food ages ago that I never yeah. said the role of, which was Sorry, 15. You 15. You would have smelt very plain, very stale, not st- stale, but very, like if the parts of Chanelli you're from, let's, see, let's put it because obviously Chanelli is a huge, huge place. If you'd been starting in the south in places that are akin to the Mediterranean, by this point, you've moved. You've got to Britain, uh, so they're, they're boiling their vegetables. <laughs> and it's not it. quite that bad, but it, it's towards that way that the there is we'll less. Cook it in water till all the all the goodness and all the taste <laughs> is all out, the, and then the we'll take that water full of all the taste and all the vitamins, and we're gonna throw it away, and then we'll eat <laughs> the plain. Bit, like diluted you don't owe no truck with flavour around here sir <laughs> all, all the chilies are in like brine and they've been there for like yeah. years yeah <laughs> or they're in the liquor bottles yeah that's right yeah. Like, um, oh, if you want some of the hot stuff I can, uh, I can assist yeah we got some of that and he just puts pepper on the table <laughs> <laughs> okay um, excuse me um, I wonder um, could you we we heard something about the revel and I wondered what what you as a as a, as a local might might think about that. Mm. Um, Let's see his nose turn up. Oh, you're not from around here. They're um. Well, we can't get rid of them. They uh. Don't know what you know about the town itself. We're uh. We're a small fishing community. We were. And then they turned up, and it's uh, all sort of. They. So, when you say uh, they, the the rebel. Yeah. All kinds mm-hmm. of nefarious, loose dealing people. <sighs> Even the legion don't go out there. Us good, honest folk just stay well away. It's interesting because soldiers will normally go. When they are off, uh, not Janellans. Janellans, no, but they yeah, die yeah. off. Not I imagine they probably like, go and look at Octavius. Sit I mean, down look at him and look like, at the sky. You know, he's just like literally that man little. can't even like. I, I am not typical of Janella. The no legions way. don't really. Yeah, he's one of the good ones. Out here. You know, don't worry. Okay. The old man looks for says, Ah, thank you, your service soldier. Uh, no, no problem. Thank you. And then I. Try and cover yeah, for, up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, before, uh, you know, in, instead of um, not liking the fact that these people have turned up, you know, trying to find out what makes them a bit more fun, you know? Seems a little grey round here. Ardshaw has always survived with that, and he looks out at the storm, because we are simple folk. Most of our time is spent finding food and surviving. That maybe the younger generation will understand it, but not me. I would rather stay away. The Legion have kept us safe all of my life. Anywhere the Legion don't go is not somewhere I would set foot. Well, I respect your outlook. Um, you know, may traveling's not for everybody. Mm, that's um, the truth. I suppose it'll be one in board. Well, yeah, but that's what the orchard's for, isn't it? Yes, my wife takes care of that side. I can take payment now. We've got, well, we've got five rooms free if you would like a room each. Uh, any, uh, well, you see, the thing is, you see this, you see this one here, any points, Octavius goes, got a bit of PTSD, it gets the nightmares, you know, uh, when people, um, he needs a, a a room to like with two beds in it. Yes, scary monsters in Nirmungard. I've heard, soldier. That's anything for you. you. Know, it's like artists. it's from the it's from the wall. You know, it's just like well, that's why we've got we, you know. Yes, we we can we can do that. I say for you, nothing. Everyone else, one silver. 
Yeah, if we could do that. Yeah, that's fine. That's bed and board. I that's appreciate fine, it. Yeah, you pay daily. If you want to stay more than that, you need to pay in the morning. Well, sure. By lunchtime, at least. All right. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Good. And, um... No trouble, please. We're quiet people. I look like trouble. I bring fun with me wherever I go. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'll make sure there's no trouble. Thank you, soldier. And he kind of totters off. And very soon, this kind of elderly woman brings out six bowls of... Um, well, they said soup. It's actually... I mean, it looks kind of yellowy. And as you dip your spoons into it, it's really thick. Sounds great. Is anyone going to try it? Yeah, of course. What you basically have is Sussex Smoky, uh, or the Chanelan equivalent, which if you've not had it before, then you've all lost out. It's Ooh, essentially... Um, I, I, I fell in love with it. It's incredible. So for what they present to you, it's like a, a small bowl, and it's got this creamy texture, and in it you find smoked haddock, with kind of like cream and cheese all kind of blended together um, with some very fresh parsley on top. And then just as you're kind of digging in, you see something breaks on the surface. It turns out there's a fried egg just oh, in there Oh, this well. is up yeah. my street. I could go on board with that easily. And yeah. right at, at the end, there's just a tiny couple on each because it's only a rural place. Just some really crispy, crunchy bacon bits just oh, you can Look, say kale. You, you've and sold this them. is why i said i wanted what he eats over there because i knew it would be good <laughs> mm. and just for our viewers and for ourselves to google later what was it called johnny this is a sussex smoky it is a smoky. traditional I'm sussex dish now. Smoky. looking up now uh, it's the... got everything i'd want in it <laughs> like there's a, about four places by me that do like the best sussex smoky Ooh, and so you know good. It's basically, really easy I mean, well. why are we dairy. having a barbecue at yeah. your house again? <laughs> well, this is for the winter. Weather, this, is, yeah, this is for the winter, winter isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll make a big pot of it all together. That'd be yeah. nice. Oh, you, mm. you won't move afterwards. It's like ridiculously <laughs> just rich. Now, um, would, that's uh, a would... starter as well, might I add. Ah, in <laughs> would, uh, would six add some chilies to this meal of his? I, if it's good, if I get the okay from a few other people... Um, I, I'll just add my customary default level chilies. I won't need to like go overboard and start mixing flavours. It flavors is actually, and start it's very it. salty, but it's very mm. rich and creamy and actually quite delicately flavourful. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's no way I'm not putting any chilies in, but I'll just do the cu sort of customary default chilies, you know, just a little sprinkling. So you're putting chilies in your food? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I've been, I've is... been angling for this. Nope. Um, no, I. You did. You said you, you would. I, you said you would. You would. I. Is that why Ryan yeah. said that? Did he knew? Did yeah. does he know what's going yeah. on? Absolute legend. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and also you fell into our trap. <laughs> yeah. And also the <laughs> the chats the chats calling for it. Yeah, chat is calling for it. Is it actually Tars legit Tars, calling yeah, for Tars it? Tars yeah, Taj is where are Sean's, Sean's chilies? chilies? Hey. Sean's chilies. They were Look, by the way, this we had a quick discussion <laughs> about this because there's something coming up where I think this sort of chili roulette. You know, like in this pouch will be will be better if saved. However, just for proof, I, think, I still think you should. I think you should give I'm us a like really every taster. Time, said. Oh, you got some chilies, bog standard. Chilies. No, oh, no, I've got. I've got. Some, I'm not okay. having a Scotch bonnet now. The Scotch no. bonnets have to go into the randomised right. sort of pile. Yeah. I'll eat a finger chili. A random though. thing. Yeah, do a finger chili now. That's fine. They're basically nothing, aren't they? Have a mixed chili. That doesn't. Nah, I'm not gonna have a mixed chili. Come on. They'd kill me. I'm very, very English. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just I'm, excited I'm there with you. This. I'm there with you. They'd kill me. <laughs> Don't worry, Christine. I'll introduce you to my Scotch bonnet and mango sauce. You're yeah. gonna get a really light coloured one. Just, if you want me to die. <laughs> You've got to ease your way into it, Christine. Kill, kill like anything character. else, just start, start small, build it up. Little bit. Exactly. No. I mean, go thing, big, go big or go on. home. My family are actually in the Doomsday Book, man, with that English. So. <laughs> No, Uncle Des, Uncle Des would have just had that gone. Good crunch. That's good a good crunch. crunch. Yeah. Healthy. Oh, that's all right. It's a shame. <laughs> oh, there it went. There it went. Oh, it's got me in the back of the throat. No big deal. <laughs> this is when you I would use I'm the thinking. food I'm eating to coat yeah, my to... mouth. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Um. Yeah, it's good. 
I think when you do this roulette thing, you're going to need some kind of Mil. saving. You're going to need some stuff. You're going to need something. Otherwise, the game's going to be over very, very quickly. Do so, you think cashew no. nuts will work? No. No. It's it's milk. No, it's basically it's milk dairy. Yeah, yogurt. Lassi is best if you can yeah. have it. That'd be nice to have a lassi. Ice cream as well. Lassi. Ice cream would be good. Um, cashew nuts didn't help. Yeah, <laughs> I will. So, I'll continue to eat this as we go. So this is going to really annoy Sean. As you munch on your chili and you're eating this delicious meal, I'm going to essentially say that you can have your long rest here. Hey. As you and we're going to pick this up next time. Just at the end. <laughs> you saying you this much left? Just so you would eat that chili? No, because he's got. Yes. He's going to have to eat a new a new one at the top of the next one, isn't he? To yeah, 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 pick yeah. Up where we left. Just, yeah, because yeah, continuity, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you have, I mean, when I'm we end, this. Sean, you have to hold half a chili up, like like you are, and then just to pretend pick, like, like I've had the top part. I'll crunch yeah. in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then at the end of the next, at the start of the next <laughs> one, start again the half the chili. It's no scotch bonnet, though, is it? That's what's going to be randomised into this pouch. I'm, I'm not, not sure I've ever eaten a scotch, scotch bonnet. bonnet. I'm not sure I've ever eaten a raw scotch bonnet. They're really bonnet. nice, but I have to have it cooked in stuff. It's just that it's a very oh. different flavour profile for me. I can't... I, I, I love the flavour of, sc of a scotch bonnet. I really do. See, I but I've never had it raw, I don't think. Than, like, Thai and Indian chilies, which are great. Like, I love those. But raw scotch bonnets, for me, are a little bit too peppery. I like the fresh I like about it. Shame about the heat. It's a well, shame about the heat with want, all chilies because uh, they all taste really nice. They're just too hot. <laughs> <laughs> is if you well, want to, at least uh, went for a finger chili and not a, yeah. a mixed chili. If you yeah. want to tell us what your favourite kind of chili to eat on stream or raw or cooked into food is, let us know at Bloodsong Party on Twitter or Bloodsong on Facebook and Instagram. You can uh, tell us what your favourite chili is. That would be really good. Thank you, Ryan. Mm. Um, and of course, they can catch up on all the great work we do can't they dan well yes i mean i have to say that for the last few episodes quite a few episodes christine's been doing the amazing work on the uh, podcast so thank you yes, because sauce. i've been trying to <laughs> rehearse an entire show in two weeks um which has melted my brain but mm. it is there and she and she's still doing the wonderful mini micro podcast which i'm i really like personally for me to catch up with what's been going on because 20 minutes feels like less of an uphill task um even though you can listen to a long thing in 20 minutes it just feels nice it's like a, a little little soupçon mm. of um of our wonderful work the tip of the chili uh, so to speak the, exactly the tip of the chili but um, you can you can grab us on YouTube or you uh, can get sure. us on on Twitch as well to watch the full length episodes. Yeah, yeah. Just wrap it up though. Yeah, it's not that it's too hot or anything, but just wrap it up. Yeah, <laughs> just for an, just for it's an unrelated reason. Got to keep his cool on stage. Oh, mainline cashew nuts. That? This really <laughs> thing's gonna be mainline cashew nuts. <laughs> that would be mainline and cashew nuts like I ain't never seen. It's just I'm trying not to do the face you do when you eat a chili. You know yeah. when you need to readjust entirely everything that you've thought about <clears throat> yourself and every, yes. everything you're doing in life and just it's when your face sort of I want to do this. Sean, have some water. That will make it better. <laughs> Listen, man, what controversial you... opinion, but water helps me. Like, um, controversial opinion, water helps me. Not on a fresh chili. chili. I think impossible. Not on a fresh chili, though. That's the thing. It would help, I think, when you're eating and, like, you're eating, like, a proper meal with, like, a with but, chili. But, you know what? Yeah, yeah, if, you're having, like, if you're having, like, chicken with chili sauce or something on it, I think water helps. That's, so, come on, man. Come don't on, that's chicken the and chili sauce me when I've just had a bite no, of a fresh chili. Well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> if you're having chili berry marinade. sauce. <laughs> berry, berry. <laughs> Sorry, we're not going to spy shame you. No. The next, we are. Perry, next, Perry. Off air. <laughs> so next week we're doing the second half of the Lasers and Feelings, which would be good. Uh, while Featuring Joey Dan is. this time as well to join the crew. So I'm going to have to go listen to that um, micro podcast to catch up on what happened. Mm. Everyone can listen to it as well. It's on YouTube. Um, I don't know if it's come out as a micro podcast no, yet. It hasn't. Um, it hasn't. But you can find it on our YouTube channel. Um, at Blood and Song, Arian Well, you'll find it to help Not beat the algorithm to get there. Yep, that helps. And of course, uh, thank you to Sirenscape for the wonderful sounds they've provided tonight. They have been marvelous to listen to. Uh, you can Epic Games need Epic Sound. You can find a link to all the descriptions and links and stuff we've used in our description. 
to take there and find your own sound sets to improve your own games, which is marvellous. And a final shout out that I completely forgot at the top is I'm launching a new show as part of the Ascenders side stuff, um, which uh, first must come out next week called World Builders, where I'm it's a short podcast where I'm going to be interviewing exclusively DMs and writers. Um, so the first one I've got is with someone called Undead Rajib, who is a guy who um, from Mumbai who adapts adventures from um, essentially from the Ramayana for 5e and it was awesome talking to him had such a cool time so please do head on over and check that out if you need yet another podcast in your life and honestly who doesn't that Mm. should be dropping on Friday I think this week so get in there whilst the going's good Um, we'll link to that in a fortnight or so once there's actual links to put out But until then, it's been a good game tonight. Well done, folks. I look forward to picking this up in a fortnight. And everyone at home, thank you for watching. May the Great Mother guide you in all that you do. Good night.